In this video, I have to beat every single Call of Duty Infinite Warfare Zombies Easter Egg completely solo. This hands down has to be one of my favorite videos I have ever made. Not only have you guys been wanting it for the longest time, this is like new content for me because like Advanced Warfare, I've never played half of these maps. If you guys do enjoy this video, make sure to drop a like on it. And if you want to see more content like this, why don't you subscribe? It's completely free and we are so close to 23,000 subscribers. Like I said in the last video, let's see if we can hit it before the end of February. Just before this video starts, we've got one more thing for you. This video is brought to you by Manscaped, the global men's lifestyle brand that is revolutionizing the landscape of men's grooming. They've provided over 10 million men worldwide with stellar performance grooming tools that even I can vouch for. My personal favorite product being the Lawnmower 5.0 Ultra. This hands down has to be the best razor I have literally ever used, and that's not even a biased opinion. I am absolutely in love with this thing. I find it a breeze to cut through any kind of hair without the harshness of your traditional men's razor. Its interchangeable blades also make it suitable for any kind of length, especially with the all new foil blade. This is exclusive to the 5.0 Ultra, but you are definitely getting your money's worth here. This thing can breeze through any kind of remaining hair that the trimmer blade didn't catch, and it will leave you feeling fresh and smooth without all the hassle. Its LED light also shines down on those hard-to-see areas, and you already know what I'm talking about, bro. Honestly, that alone has to be my favourite feature, as it just adds the cherry on top of overall convenience whilst using the product. You'll get all this and more when you purchase the Ultimate Performance Package 5.0. You'll also get the Weed Whacker 2.0, an absolute nose hair trimming beast without all the fluff. You'll also get the Crop Preserver and Soother, both designed to keep all the stuff downstairs feeling and smelling fresh as a daisy. And it doesn't stop there. If you order the performance package now, you'll receive not one but two free gifts. Consistent of the Boxes 2.0, which are in my opinion some of the comfiest boxes I've ever wore and feature the patented jewel pouch, add an extra comfort to those parts downstairs. Manscaped also threw in the Shed 2.0. It's like your one-stop shop for anything to do with grooming, unless you keep all your kit nice and safe for later use. Head over to Manscaped.com and get your hands on the performance package 5.0 Ultra today when you use my promo code and you'll get 20% off plus free international shipping and plus these two free gifts. That's 20% off plus free shipping and two free gifts with promo code woman W at manscaped.com. Trust me when I say this, your balls will thank you. And thank you to Manscaped for sponsoring this video. Right, okay, here we are. Zombies in Spaceland. The first of many, well, the first of five. Now, is it a bad time to mention that I think I've actually never beaten any of these Easter eggs, let alone even know half of the maps? I think we, I actually stopped playing this game at Raven the Redwoods, and I think I played, oh my god, all my controls are messed up. I think I played Raven the Redwoods a grand total of about four times, so... You might be in for a long one. You might be in for seeing some fails, but I guarantee you we're going to beat this one first try. Let's go. And if you couldn't already tell, I am on a bit of an upload grind at the minute. Uh, I managed to get a daily upload out at some point. And as of recording this, what time is it now? It is 10 to 7. My one box video should be going live. So yeah, they, all these recordings have been done like back to back to back, after day after day after day. So I've been on that grind, bro, honestly. All right, I'm going to grab myself up an atom, otherwise known as Quick Revive. There we go. Making the perks candies have to be some of the cool coolest ideas I've ever seen put into zombies. Lee Ross was on some of the drugs, man. Right, uh, we'll get the M1 because we need that anyway, and it is just a really, really good gun when it's pack-a-punched. We really just need to prioritize getting enough points to get around the map. I think I'm probably going to chill in here to maybe around, like, round five-ish, or just, like, Ugh! however sooner I can get myself situated because we basically just need to get the power on. We need to release the UFOs, maybe get the wind upgrade for that M1 because that is really, really good. Um, get the shredder sorted, and then we need to build the Satacom, and then we're Chilling. Although I haven't completed the easter egg, I think I know what I'm doing, so pick up cash, I'll take that. So yeah, I'm quite confident about it, but one thing I'm not confident about is my settings. I'm going to quickly change those. Right, okay, are we chilling? Is my middle? Yep, there we go, middle mouse on knife, and grenade is on G. Yes, okay, right, that's a lot better. Right, a double point, or whatever it's called in this game, or whatever, would be amazing. And it's called double cash or something? But yeah, we kind of just need a little bit of a juice up here, because points are literally the lifeblood of whether or not you have a successful run with this map. Because getting pack-a-punch on and stuff can take a little while. All right, them sunglasses do come in useful when I'm trying to shoot the battery off the lake. Oh my god, bro. I, is it? It's pretty much a two-hit system, I think. Or a three-hit system with heavy emphasis on don't get hit again for the third time. All right, okay. 2,000 points. Right, let's get moving. Can't stay in the spawn room forever. All right, we should need to get Neil's head, which I think can literally be chilling anywhere. There it is. Grab Neil's head and chuck him on there. There we go. My little happy boy. Right. We want him because he gives us a thing called tickets. And we need tickets for the arcane core. The arcane core, Ar arcane core is used for the Easter egg. So we kind of just need them all. Kill zombies while jumping. Yep, sure. Oh my god. 
We can get this done now and just get some easy tickets. There we go. There we go. One more. And there we go. Some nice tickets and some XP for a, like a 10-year-old game or however old this game is now. I usually say that as the default, but I think this game was made in 2016. So it's coming up to it. It's coming up to it. Give it a couple of more years. Okay, we have about 3,600 points here. Going to get rid of this green token and this machine here since we're not going to need them. We need the red ones if we're going for the shredder. Kill five zombies from a distance. That's another good challenge. Right, what? Where are we going? Where are we going? I think I'm going to do something different. I usually either go left or right when I'm starting out, but we're going to go this side first and that's because it's got that roller coaster where you can earn a load of tickets really really easily and it's actually quite fun so no complaints from me there okay we need to find the power switch which i think is through here somewhere get this door open as well might as well there's the power switch lovely all right okay and teleporter should be here yes where's the little switch there lovely all right we'll jump through here oh red token perfect i'm actually gonna head through here then all right we need to kill zombies from a distance i need to remember that all right we're one in the head this way so we need a few more points let's try to get this challenge done as well for the ticket there we go. Wait, one more, one more. There we go. All right, okay, get this door open. And the power switch, I think, is upstairs. Yeah, there it is. Perfect. Amazing. We'll chuck this in here. Two more of them red tokens means we get the little part for... Where is it? Down the bottom. The shredder. See that little, like, alien outline? We need the uh, souvenir from there. It's a green token. We don't need the green token. What's this? An ammo clip? I'll take that. Do you not go into last stand for the next two minutes? I can do that pretty easily, I reckon. Ooh, fire sale. Is there a box location here? So this is one right here but i imagine that's through here and let's not get killed by that thing it's terrifying running through there man right okay i barely hit the mystery box in this game so come on juice me up juice me up something good something good come on i, I don't know good guns in this game but i hope i get one an axe a, a literal axe okay uh this whatever this is uh it doesn't seem too bad it looks like a gun from halo though i won't even lie all right okay we need to find this area's teleporter and if i'm not mistaken it's through this way yeah there it is okay right activate that and head through. Right, two out of four. We'll do Journey into Space next because that's where Tough Enough is, otherwise known as Juggernog. I want to toss this green token away. Let's put it with the other one. Why not? There we go. Get this round ended. I think it should be a clown round after this. Right, okay, nice. 1,500 for this door is outrageous. And no, it's not clown round, okay. You don't get a whole lot of ammo in this gun, mind. For it being burst fire and ammo cliff, I'll take it. 55 tickets from Neil. Lovely stuff. How many tickets do we have? 175, okay. Bro, we have th three green tokens, okay. I mean, I'll take it. Whatever the Reficator is, I'm taking it. Right, another ammo clip. I'll take it. Literally just trying to grind points. Because getting Pack a Punch on, like I said, is pretty much the first step. And we've ranked up a gun that I didn't even know existed up until now. Brilliant. Melee kill five zombies. That's the next challenge, actually. Hang on. Ow. If I body shot them, I can pretty much one knife them. Come on, there's going to be one more zombie, surely. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Another fire sale, bro. You're treating me. Another 55 tickets as well. Doing well. We're doing well. We're maximizing a lot of things at once here. Come on. There we go. The Atlas. What is this? It looks massive, and I hope it performs massive. Whoa, 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 whoa. Right, okay. This thing has a lot of ammo. Unless we get, like, a wonder weapon here. I don't think we're gonna... Ooh, what is the G-rail? That looks sick. Oh, my God. It's literally a rail gun. What? Oh, wait. Is it bad? No, it's... Wait, it charges up? What? Bro, I've been sleeping on Infinite Warfare. Right, let's get this door open, and we need to find the power switch. There's tough enough. Uh, it's through this way, yeah. And the power switch, I think, is just on the right. No, it's on the left. Okay, there we go. Close enough. See, now, the optimist in me is telling me, use your points to go and buy the door to the arcade, but nah, I'm buying Jug. Right, I want to see how this real gun does. Oh, wait, no, the portal's in here. Like, the one for the arcades in there. I always forget these two areas are separate things. Right, where are these zombies? I've literally just seen them, didn't I? Right, let's head through this portal. I just bashed my mic. I do apologize. Uh, right, we got literally one more left to do. And I think because that challenge we're not going to be able to do in time, I'm going to head over to Polar Peak really quick and try make myself 100 tickets just so I can buy the Arcane Core. Because we are going to have to buy two of them if we want the wind upgrade as well, because you can't do two of them, I don't think. At the same time, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. We'll test it out. Right, let's hop on the ride. Actually has to be one of the sickest things in Zombies ever. Oh, that's actually where the box is. Okay. Right, okay. Show me the money. Dink, dink, dink. Yeah, I do aim training, bro. What do you mean? Oh my god, them clowns go away. Pro tip, even if you've opened the door or turned off a laser by hitting one of the targets, hit the other one as well because it still counts. Oh my god. All right, okay, this is the hard bit. There we go. There we go. Uh, we missed that one. Uh-oh. Right, we missed a couple there, but it's fine. Okay, that one just didn't want to die. Clowns. There we go. He's dead. It's really nice that it gives you infinite ammo. I thought with a thing like this, it would probably only give you, like, a certain amount of bullets. Right. Headshot. Headshot. Get rid of that and get rid of that. Clowns. Get rid of him and him. 
And I think we have enough tickets now. Yes, more than enough. My God, 160. All right, there's literally nothing else for, for us to do now. Bar end the round and get more points so we can up the arcade. I am going to take the liberty of buying the arcade core now. And I've just realized we actually have fate and fortune cards. Although it is the stock ones, they're still pretty damn good. Like, mana up's pretty good. I'm guessing it gives you more health. <laughs> I'm saying this like I know what they do. Okay, so that round, finally, there we go. Right, this might be a clown round. I'm really not sure. Yes, it is. Okay, he said a quote. Bro, these clowns are actually terrifying, man. Forget dogs. Okay, that's that round done nice and quick. This railgun doesn't seem to be too bad, actually. Uh, two multi-kills. Okay. I'm trying to think how else we can earn tickets. We need to get the arcade open at some point. Did I just leave that? Oh my god, they disappeared before I could pick it up. Okay, there was a little bag on the floor there. I want to try and get this multi-kill challenge done. Is that even possible? Wait, no, it definitely is. We have a railgun, for fuck's sake. All right, hang on. Line them up. I really would have thought that would have went through them all, but okay. Oh, there we go. We actually got one. Nice. And then again. No, we missed. Literally just want to get this one done so I can get more tickets. There we go. Nice. Look, cheeky little 65 and we've completed all of them what did i just do i just launched neil off into sp oh, okay okay i'm not even gonna question it wait is that actually the last we see of neil once you initiate him to take off that's crazy oh bro when are they gonna start dropping the red tokens right we really need to get pack a punch open so i'm gonna go ahead with the arcade now to get this final teleporter linked because once we've got pack open we can actually go pack the m1 and it becomes really really strong all right open this door quickly get through without getting hit by these bumper cars because it's an insta down from what i remember and we'll also get this open how many tickets do i need for these golden teeth again 300 bro there's so many tickets for everything it's ridiculous needs power where's the power switch because i can squeeze in some arcade sessions here there it is all right okay let's do this one go 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 control it you got 100 tickets for that bro what what why 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 is hot why is the hoff here bro is that what neil did is is that why he takes off bro what was the hoff doing here wait do you get 100 tickets each time you do that that is crazy you do oh my god right okay i'm buying the gold teeth now because we need those right the machine's out of order shoot some hoops from what i remember i kind of suck at that one. Oh my god i'm getting tossed about by all these zombies jesus christ bro the hoff is doing some damage red token i need that Right, let me through. Right, that's all the Pack-a-Punch things open. I'm going to head through anyway because I'm going to get this done. Come on, there's the UFOs. Perfect. Right, we have the gold teeth. We have the arcane core. I think, I don't know if you need two arcane cores. I might play it safe and get two. But I say I can actually get rid of this railgun because it kind of sucks. I won't even lie. I'm going to quickly run over to the one in Journey and Outer Space. Right. Give me something decent. It takes forever to spin this uh, mystery box in this game. I don't know why. The p -Law? Bro! Why is Infinite Warfare got such sick guns? What's the DCM8? Is it a shotgun? I'd imagine it's a shotgun. Yeah, it looks like a shotgun. That's actually not too bad. We'll hang on to this. All right, what we can do now is we can start working on the shredder a little bit here. We go up here. There's a door and there's a little boat going about here. We need to wait for it to come through. There it is, actually. We need to wait for this thing to come through so I can shoot a battery off the back of it. And I think I just did it. Did I? I can't tell. Yeah, it's definitely gone from where it was. And if we head up here, the battery should be shooting out of one of these things. There it is. Okay, quick, 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 quick. Ah, oh, it's gone. Okay. Surely if we just wait by one, it'll come up. There it is. Give. And we get launched into the air. Lovely stuff. And I'm stunned. Red coin. That's another piece we need. Oh, things are going so well. Right, we'll take the fast route here and head down the slides. Honestly, playing this map feels like a fever dream. Is that Neil? Auxiliary battery needed. Oh my god, okay. He's came back upgraded, bro. Right, anyway, I'm getting distracted by Neil. Right, okay. Chuck this in here, and that'll give us our little plushie. There we go. And the last piece we need is the gem. Now, unfortunately, we can't grab that just yet. Because we need one of the big guys to spawn in and destroy the teeth. This is why we bought the golden teeth. Oh, remember that crocodile trap that I was, like, really not keen on running through? Yeah, that thing. He destroys the teeth and you got to replace it and it reveals it behind a wall or something like that. I know, it sounds ridiculous. Regenerate health faster, mana up. You know, you already know we're using it. Ammo clip, I'll take that. Another red token, I'll take it, but I don't need it right now. Oh my god, man, I am exhausted from grinding out all these videos. But you know what it is? I've just been in such a mood to make as many videos as I can. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to deliver content for you guys. I can't crouch. Where can I crouch? Oh, it's control, not C. Okay. All right, okay. About 400 more points and we can actually start getting the arcane core ready for this thing. All right, 250 now. Oh, there we go. There's the big guy. That's who I was hoping for. Right, you need to destroy the teeth, pal. Do your thing, please. Nope. This is exactly who I was hoping for, though. Oh, I'm stuck. Wait, no. I'm getting tossed about by a bunch of zombies. Okay, bro. I, I just need 
like 50 more points and I'll be right with you. Right, I'm going to go pack a punch this and then I'm going to head back and we can deal with all these zombies a little bit easier. Right, pack a punch. Lob my gun in a film projector because you know that makes sense. There we go. The tea money. I will take that. Shout out tea money. Right, insta kill. That works out perfect actually. I don't want this guy to die though. That's the only issue. I don't know if this affects him. Right, okay, walk through. Please, please, please. Nope, he was doing his laser thing because he felt like being a knob. Please do your thing. Please, please, please. Yeah, there you go. You broke the teeth. That's exactly what I wanted. Right, now I can just kill this guy. I've literally got no use for him. Right, I do want to save that zombie though. All right, he's dead. Nice, and he dropped the max ammo too. Let's get this reloaded. I'll take that. Now that we have a little bit of a window to breathe here, we can actually go look for the Satacom parts now. Um, or the Seticom? Why am I calling it the Satacom? Right, we'll go check the arcade first because it can be there. It can also be in the opposite side one. I can't remember what it is. It's a Kepler system, I think. It can be there, but it can also be on the bins here, so I might as well go have a look at this now. And if it's not here, well, I've wasted all of your time. I apologize. Uh, nice to see that the UFOs are up and about, though. There it is. There's the first one, the calculator. Nice. The next one's the boom box, which I think I know the location of. We could have literally missed it from when we walked out, so it could actually be in spawn and we've just ran past it like a million times. Come on, RNG gods. Please, please, please. Yes, it is there. Oh my god, we actually did just run past it. Right, and the umbrella is the last thing. I know exactly where that thing can be. Since we need to head up to here anyway to get the wind variant, I suppose we can go check Polar Peaks first. It can also be back in Journey into Space, and I think it can be by the slides in the Kepler system, so literally all three areas that we've just been, I could have been checking, but I just didn't have my priorities in check, obviously. Uh, that's it there. Perfect. Right, now that we have all three pieces, we need to go give them to David Hasselhoff so he can construct it, and then he'll make a tone when it's done. In the meantime, though, we can work on our stuff. He can spawn in a couple different areas. One of them can be here. I think I did see him here, actually, but he's probably moved now. Oh, no, he's here. Okay, take this stuff. Right, okay, I think we've given, uh, given them him. Given them him? Given them uh, What was that sentence I was trying to say? We have given him the pieces. Now we just have to wait. Wait. Right, so now I'm going to go up here and do my arcane core. And then after that, we can go do the thing for the shredder. And then once we've got that, we're pretty much set up, apart from perks, which I will sort out once we get more points. Now, from what I remember, you have to use this trap here to initially start off the UFO, and then it'll start flying about, and then you have to get kills with the arcane core attached. So I am just going to end the round here. Okay, that's round. Lovely stuff. I'll take some sunglasses. All right, this is probably the, like, the worst spot ever to train, but we'll give it a go. Actually, hang on. This isn't half bad. Oh, there we go. He's already done with the satacom. We can go pick it up in a bit. Okay, let's flick this thing on. Now... Right, there we go. They're all getting killed. Oh my god, let me through. I hate how you just get like slingshotted by zombies in this game. It's so weird to describe. But right, there we go. Right, he's flying about now. We just need to get kills with the arcane core. Lovely stuff. And once he's dropped my wind element, we are chilling. It's clown round as well, so we get a nice little round skip here. Not that I actually want to be like hitting a round goal or anything. In fact, I want to keep them a lot lower. Just because doing the Satacom stuff on a lower round is so much easier, man. It's pretty much a bunch of lockdowns you got to do. But once you start getting up in them rounds, man, it becomes ridiculous. And there we go. That's clown round done. Once we got this, we'll go grind tickets for a little bit more. Get another arcane core on this shotgun or something. We might even pack a bunch of this for the shits and giggles. And we'll go do our fire upgrade for the shredder. Which is that cool little laser pistol that you see in all the thumbnails back in 2016, so. Oh my god, that's a lot of them. That infinite ammo power up would come in really handy, though, I can't lie. Oh, there we go, he's done. Right, wind, lush. And look at that, it's just literally tearing through them now. Perfect, this is all I wanted. Right, let's go grind tickets then, shall we? And by grind tickets, I mean play that water pistol game twice and have enough to get another arcane core. All right, okay. Uh, okay, so it is definitely this way. Oh, I'm not excited for the other maps. This is literally the only one I have, like, the slightest amount of experience on. The others, I don't think I've actually ever played. I think I've played Raven the Red Redwoods, like, once with a mate. Right, okay. Water pistol game. Oh, zombie, I'd appreciate it if you just didn't, pal. Oh, great. And now I don't have a water pistol because I just wasted it all on shooting him. Brilliant. All right, okay, coast is clear. Let's do this. Keep it on the bullseye, and we'll get an easy 100 tickets here. There we go. Right, quickly bang out another one yet? No, never mind. Oh, uh, give me my gun back, man. There we go. Oh, he spawned in another one of them big guys. I think. He said a quote. Imagine he has. Right, I suppose we can go do one more run of the roller coaster then and get some tickets that way. It seems like such a waste though. We're getting another arcane call just to throw it away. Or maybe I'm just being really stupid and you're probably all laughing at me right now. Because I'm a big infinite warfare noob. Oh my god, jump scare. Go away. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. I actually am going down here. No, I'm not. Okay. I have actually misjudged this weapon's power. This is ridiculous. It, it, it just vaporized him. Why is a starting weapon this good? I don't understand. Okay, let's zip on here. Alright, I need to lock in, bro. I need to be getting over 100 tickets. We did it pretty easily last time. But if we don't here, it's going to be so annoying. 
Okay, headshot, 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 and nope. You can just sometimes get away with spamming them, but I do actually like playing it the way it was meant to be played, though. Just makes it more fun. There we go. Shoot these two. Shoot this guy on the corner. He's gone. And this guy. Clowns. So many more clowns than last time. Shoot these two guys. There we go. That one, that one, that one, that one, that one, and that one. Oh my god! That one, that one. Ooh. Can I shoot him? Yep, there we go. Loads of clowns. Oh, go away. Okay, these two, get rid of them. Can I shoot that from here? Yes, I can. Oh, shoot that. I didn't get time to shoot the other one. And that one. Right, do we have enough? Yes. Right, we are doing very, very well. I am going to hang on to this shotgun. I think I'm just going to pack a punch because it's really powerful. Like, even unpacked, it's still killing them relatively easily. All right, let's cop ourselves an arcane core and hop through here. Sort this in here. And there we go. Let's go get our fire upgrade then. I think it's in the Kepler system from what I remember. Yeah, this is really powerful. It's like almost one shot on them. Reminds me a lot of the Haymaker. All right, okay. I think... Are we at the end of a round? I can't remember. All right, I hear my little UFO buddy. Actually, nah, we're going to turn this on now. Wait, are we? Are we? Are we? Is that like the last four? I think that is like the last four. Okay, no, we're not. That could have been such a waste. Yeah, we've got to fill that guy up first with a trap, and then we've got to use this other arcane core that we just got. Then we get the fire upgrade, and then we get the gem, and then we get the wonder weapon, then we're chilling, bro. All right, okay, I am going to try and train them up a little bit before I turn it on. Or we'll just do it now, because they're spawning fast enough anyway. Um, Can this thing kick in the gear, man? There we go. That was scary. Right, he's flying about now. And we are getting kills from Nice. Oh, I forgot he triggers that thing. Yeah, when the little spaceship goes through, he actually triggers the mouth, and it's a really big troll. I hate it so much. I can't remember how many kills it actually takes to get rid of the spaceship and just for him to drop the uh, AAT or whatever. I think this was this game's method of AATs from what I remember. I can't remember if they brought the arcane cores back in any of the maps, though. Definitely need to find stamina up, because I, think, I feel like I'm running at, like, 0.2 speed. Surely this thing's nearly done, man. I feel like we gave it so many. Was, was this round gonna end, man? See, this is the problem I have with Infinite Warfare as well. When I'm talking about BO3 being bad for the early round spawns, this is even worse, man. It's like a recurring issue. I don't know if it's just like a PC port thing, but I, I don't know, man. There he is. There we go. Start to the show face. Okay, need to get more kills. Oh, there we go. We're done. Right, fire upgrade. That is all I needed. I do wish we could hang onto this shotgun, especially with this upgrade, but I don't think we're going to be able to, unfortunately. Right. Risky doing this mid-round, but let's give him the golden teeth. Do a big chomp. There we go. Can I give him the golden teeth? There we go. Oh my god, the M1 is so powerful. Look at this, man. It just carries you throughout the entire game. Eagle-eyed, sure. I don't know what this does. Sniper rifle, always critical hits. Well, uh, uh, do we have a sniper rifle? Is the M1 class as a sniper rifle? I really don't know. All right, there we go. The gem's open now. I'm going to run through and just trigger them once. And then I'm going to run through and grab my gem. Give. Oh! Uh! Right, trigger them and then run through. Right, there we go. Open up. Why can't I pick this thing up? There we go. Let me out! Right, so let's go build this thing. I think it's in the underground tunnels and it's a clown round that makes this even more perfect. Or is it? I can't tell. Hang on. Are they just spawning now alongside zombies? No, they're not. Why is my screen so dark for? That's oh, probably because it's a clown round. I've literally just... I've actually got dementia, man. Right, first time I open up the underground tunnels. Hello. Oh, that is a lot of clowns. Racing stripes. I'd imagine that's stamina up. I'm picking it up. Is it? Yeah, I feel like I'm running faster now. Brill. And there's the buildable for the shredder. Place that. Kill these clowns so they don't bother me. Place that. And it's gem. There we go. I'll take the shredder. And we got an achievement. You can't see it on your screen, but I actually just got an achievement for doing that. Right. This is the uh, weapon I was on about. The one that you saw in all the YouTube thumbnails. It's quite sick. Just imagine a ray gun on steroids. Right. There's not really much else to do other than get myself more set up. And I don't really know the best perks. Blue bolts. I'd imagine that's just electric cherry. I guess we'll just pick and choose and find out. I think I saw a perk called bomb stoppers in the Kepler system. Oh. Oh, scary. As I was saying, though, I think I saw a bomb stoppers perk, which I think's PhD, judging by its purple, and has a big, like, nuclear waste sign on it, so... I think we're going to pick that up as well. But I think in this game you have five perk slots, so I'm not too sure what else to actually pick up. Yeah, I knew I saw something like that right there. we go. Right, now we need to find David Hasselhoff. I think there's a big guy chasing me, though, so I want to take care of him. Oh, infinite ammo. Oh, no, that's infinite grenade. Who would want that as a drop, bro? Where's this big guy? I want to take care of him. Right, there we go. What did he drop? An insta-kill. It's kind of useful, I guess. Right, give me my satacom. There we go. It's exactly what I wanted. I might actually pick up uh, blue bolts, which I think is just electric cherry. Right, we need to find out where's our first look location to do the lockdown. I think there's one by the water fountains. I've just checked the one there in Journey into Space and it's not there. I know there's definitely one here because I have done a practice run of this easter egg before, but I didn't get too far because the round was way too high and I just didn't have a good enough gun. I do believe there's one here though. Okay, not this time. Alright, it's not here. We'll head down the slides and see if it's just next to bomb stoppers. Then it can be on the bridge and also be in the gift shop. There's a bunch of different places for this thing, man. Alright, we'll check here first since we're literally right here. Is it here? Yes? No? No? Okay, definitely not. Alright, let's check bomb stoppers. Stoppers. 
No, I don't think it's here either. I'm trying to think of the other locations. The gift shop, we didn't check there. And there's also the break room, which is underground. Oh, there we go. Right. This is what we need to do. That's going to start counting down from 60. Bunch of zombies are going to start pr sprinting at it. But we have a pretty good gun. So honestly, I think we're chilling. Just don't let them attack it, you know? Only got two spawns to cover. Shouldn't be that bad. And we're quite fortunate to have the wind upgrade because it just pushes them back. This is perfect. Okay. Uh, reload. My God. Get back. Get back. Get back. Get back. Get back. All right. 20 more seconds. It's pr pretty much on full health as well. We're fine. Reload. Eight more seconds and we should be good to go. This is a lot easier with this M1 Garand, man. I really didn't realize how good it was. Right, there we go. Take part. Grab a max ammo. And that's that one done. Right, let's see if it's outside. Or do we have to take it back to the Hoff first? I can't remember. Right, no, we actually don't need to go to the Hoff. I just checked the Easter egg guide there. Um, We need to go find the other location for this thing. Okay, not there. Uh, Where else can it be? It can be downstairs. We haven't actually checked there. I think downstairs is one of the better ones, though, because I think they can only come from really a straight line. Okay, I don't think it's down here. Definitely will come back, though, if... We've checked them all, and it's still not there. Uh, where else can we plonk this thing down? We can go back to the Kepler system and check there, to be fair. There's the Bomb Stoppers location. I did check the bridge on the way out, and it's not there either. Yeah, we used the um, teleport. We might as well. There we go. Right, is it here? Okay, I don't think it's here either. Okay. Um, starting to run out of locations off the top of my head. The fountains. The fountains we haven't checked there. I think, is that not the only location it can be? If it's up here, I kind of fear for my life a little bit. It doesn't appear to be. Bro, where else can this thing be? What? Oh, I'm a big doof. You can't just do them bang, bang, bang. You've got to wait, okay? We've got to do it three rounds in between. That actually gives us a little bit of a chance here to set ourselves up. So you can see down in the bottom right there, towards the bottom right-ish, I have that thing down there called a Medusa device. That thing's quite useful, but it's not going to be useful for the thing we want to do. We want a sentry gun. And to get a sentry gun, we need one red token and two green ones. We had two green ones, but I literally wasted them. And I feel like such an idiot now, man. Right, let's head back to spawn. We'll chuck our red token in the souvenir machine. Hopefully we get two green ones by the time we've killed two rounds. We should be all right. Right, okay, we'll chuck our red one in there. Thank God this thing is still killing, man. Because before when I ran through this, like, as like, a dry run, I was completely reliant on this, and this thing does not have a lot of ammo. It has about the same, same amount of ammo as your starting pistol. Come on, drop a green one. You know you want to, man, please. Oh, okay, it's not, they're not gonna. What is this? Ammo clip, for sure. And that's round. Right, we've got to do one more round that we can go do another lockdown. I might try it without the sentry gun and see how that goes, but I don't know if you have to restart it from the 60 second one if you do that's just ropes to be fair try to use the shredder a little bit here we've literally got it and give it like literally no screen time at all is that a green token oh my god don't die don't die don't die don't die don't die don't die that's a green token though no. right i'm just gonna spam this thing give let me out 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 what the f bro Whew! there we go we grabbed a nuke we're fine we're chilling we're chilling crisis averted jesus right another green token then we're chilling come on you know you want to drop a green one. Oh no Okay, I guess we're going without a sentry gun. That's fine. Let's go find this thing's location then, shall we? It's definitely not here. Otherwise, it probably would have showed up on the screen by now. Let's go check outside the gift shop on the bridge. It could very well be here, to be fair. Nope. And now clowns are starting to spawn. Isn't that brilliant? Let's go check the Kepler system and the fountains. Don't know what nade party is, but we'll use it. Your grenade slot will regenerate over time. I literally, bro, why Why would I need that? I think I might have to do some tomfoolery midway through this video to get myself some fate and fortune cards. You know, c c completely legit, of course. Like, I'm just gonna sit here and grind it out, probably, you know. Definitely not just, like, cheat them in with, like, some mod menu or something. I don't know. Why are the clowns spawning on a normal round? This ain't fair. Okay, we almost just got insta down by that bumper card. I'm losing my mojo, man. I don't even know why I'm here. The, the place I where I want to be is in the break room, I think. Is there a way to the break room through here? I'd imagine what this that's what this is. Oh, no, this just loops around the polar peak. Okay. Wow, okay, I didn't even know that route was a thing. And here we are. Well, that, that's actually really sick. Right, okay, let's check the fountains. It could very well be there. And then if not, it has to be the break room, I'm pretty sure. Okay, I think it's the break room. Unless I'm tripping and I haven't done three rounds, I think it has to be. No, it's not in here either. What? All right, maybe we've got to go another round. Maybe, maybe, maybe. I'm going to double check. Hang on. Right, there's actually one more location we haven't checked. And then if it's not there, I'm convinced I'm just tripping and we haven't actually gone three rounds. Oh, my God. Oh, no way I'm dead. No way. All right, no, 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 no. No, we're good. We're good. I had up an atom. All right, let me in. Oh, my God. I've got to, You've got to run to Lost and Found. You don't just get your guns back. Give me my guns. And give me up an atom. I'm just going to keep the shredder out. Just as a safety precaution. Uh, Get rid of them. Card selection ready. There's literally nothing. I, I, I brought a carpenter. To be fair, I think we've got the equivalent of burned out on as well. So we could use that in the boss fight. Oh, I have to rebuy all my perks, man. All right, there we go. Oh, oh, that's way too many of them. 
Right, now we need to be in the break room because we need stamina up back. We can get bomb stoppers in a bit. I just really want stamina up. There we are. Nice. We are actually running a bit low on ammo for our shredder here, so I need to keep an eye on that. I say that as I just blasted a zombie in the face. They, I didn't even, like, try to hoard it or anything, you know? There'll be a clown round soon enough, surely. Yep, reverse. There you go. Is it here? No, it's not even here. Maybe we just gotta go one more round. Kind of at a loss here. I, I don't know what I'm doing. I said I was gonna grab it before. Let's grab blue bolts. Okay, it's a clown round. Perfect. Means we get a refill on our shredder. All right, okay. Let's grab bomb stoppers as well. There we are. Oh, green token. Let's go get that sentry gun we need. And that's the max ammo I need as well. Let's go. Right, surely now it's been three rounds, yeah? Right, please give me a sentry gun. Don't troll me. Yeah, there we go. Oh, I feel like I'm running about like a headless chicken. Man, just where's the thing I need to put down? Right, okay. I found it. I found it. I found it. It just took a lot of time. It took a lot of time. Let's do this. Right, okay. How do I place down my sentry gun? Right, we'll do that. And um, we just need to keep an eye out on all these spawns because this area is very, very open. I'm going to bring my mic a little bit closer to my mouth. Going to make sure you can hear my voice in pristine quality, bro. Okay, 60 seconds. Not doing too bad. Oh, I hate the fact they go so close. Why, 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 why? Is the shredder any better? Oh, the shredder's much better. Hang on. Oh, I don't like how much they're attacking it. I really don't. Getting far too close to my liking. Get away from me. All right, it's about half health. We've got 20 seconds. We should be okay. We reload. Bro, that sentry gun has helped out massively. Can I pick that thing back up? I really hope I can. Right, okay, three, two, one. We're done. Give. Max ammo. Nice. Oh, it's gone. Got another red token here, to be fair, though. Oh, it's gone. Oh, the thing clamped down. It disappeared. All right, we need to go another three rounds. What I think I'm going to do, because you've already waited long enough, I think I'm going to cut this part out. Just because it's literally going to be me surviving, and I just want to lock in. I don't want to die by a zombie or something. So I will see you when we're doing the third Satacon. Or Satacon. Satacom. I don't know, man. The big radio thing. Right, okay. Let's whack down this sentry turret and whack down the Satacon. And let's get defending, then. I am very scared. We've got a lot we need to defend on a lot of fronts. Got this one here. Yeah, they can easily slip through because the sentry gun is just not on its A-game. I hope it doesn't get too bad, though. Speed cooler could have probably... Probably been a shout to be fair. Okay, we got about a minute left. Okay, let's just hope we have enough ammo to last. Oh my god, these ones coming in from the right are definitely the priority, man. That zombie is stuck on the sentry gun. Okay, clowns, no, no thanks. Right, we have another clip. We're chilling, we're chilling, we're chilling, we're chilling. I think we're chilling. I hope we are. Oh, they broke my fucking thing. Get away. Oh my god, reload, man. Bro, the, the no speed cooler is definitely starting to hit different. Oh, we can do it, we can do it, we can do it, we can do it, we can do it. Spam! Just spam! Three, two, one. Hurry up! Give! I'm out of here. Oh! There we go. Right, we're done. 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 Right, it's pretty much boss fight time, I reckon. We need to go give the Hoff our charge of Satacon, and he'll give us some speakers. We need to go find where he is, though. I'm going to guess he's where he always has been for the remainder of the game, and that's literally right here as we get off the slides. Well, not right here, actually. I thought we were a lot closer to the Kepler system. Oh, that had my heart going a little bit there towards the end. Is he here? Yes, he is. Right, give me my speakers. Maybe we have to go another round? I'd imagine that's how these things work. It has up until now. Oh, well, there you go. Right, let's see then. Speakers, please. Please? Bro, he's just not giving me my speakers. What's going on? Maybe we have to get off the clown round? I don't know. I really hope it isn't glitched, man. That took so long. Right, okay, I'm actually up to the step that we uh, glitched on. For some reason, he wasn't giving me the speakers, so, you know, I just took the liberty of restarting. We're now up to the light step. I need to find where this bridge to spawn, because I messed it up, because I'm trying to get the grips of, the, with the, like, this step as a whole. Um, so what I'm gonna do is take care of this brute, and then I'm gonna pop my in-plane sight counterpart, you know, like, uh, the one from BO3, but it's just a Fate and Fortune card. What's it called again? Hide and Seek. Oh, he's doing the sequence. So that's what, was that what, blue, red, yellow, blue, red, yellow, green. So what, blue, the run and grab some ammo for the m1 here bro am i missing something i just put blue in they said it was wrong right blue red yellow so it should be blue red yellow green what am i doing wrong blue red that's green no right it's blue red yellow green so yellow's the opposite then i'm stupid right I'm getting better grips with this right yellow's on the right hand side i need to remember that blue red yellow green is it that every time i think it has been blue red yellow right, yellow's right side green blue red get round to it yellow green wait what what Bro, what is this bugged ass step? What am I doing wrong? Right, I'm popping my hide and seek. Let's give this a go. Right, blue, red, yellow, green. Right, blue, red, yellow. And get round to it. Green. Is that it? Yes. I think that was it because he didn't spawn a brute. I think we're chilling. I need to wait for the next one now. All right, he's going to do the next sequence, isn't he? Blue, yellow, green, red. Right, so hang on. Wait for it to go light. All right, blue. No way, we messed that up already. How, bro? It makes a little, like, bink noise, and then it just tells me that I've done it wrong when I've only inputted the first one. It's not fair. Right, there we go. He's dead. All right, it's blue, yellow. So back, right, 
Back, right, left, front. Back. Uh, bro, who designed this step, man? It's just done it again. Then it's this one. What? Oh, fuck this shit, man. Right, there we go. That's two out of three. Can I have a max ammo or something, please? You know? As I should, really. Like, bro, can I have a max ammo? Hello? No? Okay, brilliant. Red. So that's the front first. Red, green. So red, left. Front, left, right, back. Front, left, right. And then back. Right, are we good? Max ammo as well. Lovely. I think we've done it. Have we done it? Now, is it clown survival? I think it is, because there's a massive beam coming from the sky. Brilliant. There's a max ammo too. Yeah, there's a bunch of clowns coming from the portal. Let's chill. Oh, that was annoying. Okay, we should hopefully be coming to the close of this, and then the alien should hopefully spawn. Yep, there we go. Right, okay. I'm going to take the liberty of popping my random bullets in a sec, and we're going to spam the shit out of his shock collar. Hang on. There he is. He's zipped up there. Come on, come back down here, you fuck. What? Oh my god, already? You're joking. You're joking. Oh, we've still got our perks, but like... Ugh. All right, give me my fucking weapons back. We lost our shredder, man. It's gonna keep trying to spam him. This boss fight absolutely sucks, man. Where is he? Where is he, the blue fuck? I want some Fate and Fortune cards back as well, please. Yep, thank you. Right, his collar's on orange, which means we've got him about half health already, which isn't too bad. But then again, we've got to do this three times. So it's not looking good. Just trying to utilize my M1 here because this thing does not have a lot of ammo in it, man. You only get max ammo's like intermittent way through as well. So it kind of sucks on that part. Oh, I got way too close to him there. You can insta down you and it remember that oh no 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 please how many more bullets i think it's went, i think it went red i think it went red i'm not too sure though we've got plenty of bullets in the m1 i'm just more worried about the fact that i've used all three of my quick revives which is unfortunate but oh my god i hate the fact that he can insta down you it's so scary it's things on bright red though so he should be near enough dead on the yeah there we go force field on the first phase anyway that's what i was on about get here there we go no fuse for you Right, gotta do the same thing again. We're chilling, we're chilling, we're chilling. He's getting a lot faster, though, and also that's a new round for some reason. Whatever. I really need to stay on the move here, though, because he just zips around so quick, and oh my god, it's really scary, man. An infinite ammo thing would be sick right now. And to be fair, I think we've almost got access to it. We just need to kill a few more zombies. Oh, where did you come from? Right, we've got a fate and fortune. Rain and bullets. Right, it's selected. There we go. Switch that on in just a second. Need to get back over here, though. Pop it now. Move. Just need to lay into him here. But I also need to remember to move so he doesn't shoot me. What's his collar on? Surely it's nearly there now. We have 60,000 points. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. No, no, no. No! Okay, 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 okay. Crisis averted. Crisis averted. That was a mix of clowns and alien blast there. I was getting frightened, bro. I actually refuse to believe his collar's still on green. There's no way on God's green earth all that damage we've done has done actually nothing to him. Come on, you fuck. Go yellow. Right, I think it just went yellow, I think. Yeah, right, it's gone yellow. Right, we're making progress. Slow progress, but progress indeed. I keep getting absolutely trolled by them drops, man. I keep thinking they're like max ammos or something, but they're just fucking green souvenir coins. The, the bullet he fires kind of follows you around as well. It's really unfair. Oh, where did you come from? Hello. Right, we've got hide and seek equipped for our fate and fortune. I'm definitely going to be trying to use this now. Hang on. Grab the M1. Well, the ammo for it. Pop this now. He can definitely still see me, but the zombies bloody can't. What the fuck? Why can clowns still see me? That's not fair at all. Okay, it's war off. 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 Oh my god. You're joking. You're joking. Oh. So what you just witnessed there was my fourth attempt at this easter egg. So I kind of bit the bullet and I went into boss fight mode since this was the only part we hadn't completed. I think I'd gone through the Satacom part like at least four times prior. So uh, just take a listen. Let's fucking go, you stupid alien piece of shit. Right, okay. Rave in the Redwoods. I have played this map about a grand total of one other time. We're going to grab ourselves a golf club and we're going to head upstairs and pick ourselves up an M1 straight off the bat. Now, this is a little strategy I adopted from a YouTube video that many of you have probably seen if you've tra been trying to do the Infinite Warfare Easter eggs. They've got, like, the purple thumbnails and then, the, like, the director's cut people on the front. I, I can't really remember. But what I do remember is that it's very, very useful because the strategy they show is to utilize the M1 to charge up your Fate and Fortune cards as much as possible to open up through the mess hall after round two, I think. We're going to get that done. But, yeah, you can shoot them once in the leg and get a cheeky little melee on them. So, like that. Like I've been doing it, you've probably been seeing as I've been yapping away here. Um, we can get this door open. This is towards the mess hall, right? It is. Is this is the uh, fountain down there? Yeah, I'm just double checking because I don't want to accidentally open the wrong door. If you get what I mean. Right. Okay. So 
We also can quickly pick up the boat piece, which is just in this bin, I think, or next to the bin, or whatever. Now we can double shot them in the leg now and get a little knife on them. It's like the M14, you know what I mean? One, two. And as you can see, our fate and fortune meter is already halfway up. I've been doing my preparations for this because I am on a tight schedule, thanks to today's sponsor, Manscaped. That isn't a segue again, I promise. I've already done the ad, but you know. But yeah, we're just trying to get our fate and, for fate and fortune. Fate and fortune meter all the way up. There we go. Two more times in the leg for this one. There you go. And can we open the other end now? I'm pretty sure we can. Oh, we got another zombie here. Perfect, perfect. Right, there you go. I love the melee for this character, man. It's so like, quick and it's really, really cool. Um, Right, we, we're wanting to go this way. And as you can see, any purchases also charge our fate and fortune meter, which, which is absolutely brilliant. This is exactly where I'm wanting to be. And we should get our fate and fortune by the end of this round or near on the start of it. I'm also hoping for a pouch and we're going to use scope dollars and it's going to give me a shit ton of points. Points, to say the least. Uh, where is this last zombie? There he is. There you go. Alright, so I'm saying one or two kills in round three will give us more than enough. And then we're going to go to round four and then we'll use the pouch and scope dollars. Because I feel like it'll be a bit of a waste to use it on round three and we'll probably get the pouch this round. So, yep, there we go. No, that was the gem. That's the wrong thing. I'm hoping for a pouch here. Right, fate and fortune is ready. Not going to use it just yet, though. Still going to try and maximize my points with these guys. Though. You can shoot them three times on the leg and then knife. Oh, let's not die because I've not bought up an arms. One, two, three, and then knife. There we go. There's my pouch. Right. One, two, three. Knife. Insta kill. Let's just knife. Is it a lipstick knife that she's got? I can't tell, but it's just so fluid, man. I don't, I don't know how to describe it. Right. There we go. Right. Now I'm going to try and get this ready. Uh, not money shot. I want scope dollars. There we go. Get a little reload going. Gonna wait for the insta kill to wear off because that's a waste of the thing. Can it wear off now, please? That'll be brilliant. And I am going to wait for them to spawn in just for a little bit. Uh, right. There it goes. And they're all kind of spawned in. We'll use scope dollars now. There we go. Throw the pouch into the fire. And let's see how many points we get here. I'm gonna dare say a couple, but I don't know. Okay, right. We should easily have about a thousand, 10,000 points before the end of this. According to the guide, anyway. Right, AK, not too bad. I was hoping for about 10, but, you know. Oh, we got another pouch as well. Okay. Right, uh, one, two, three, four. There you go. Then a melee. Oh, max ammo. Let's not die. So, I've got a couple of more lurkers. Um, we can get a lot done this round, so I'm gonna refrain from ending it. You can tell I'm already on it like a car bonnet with this map compared to Spaceland. Really wanted to do my stuff. We've got cash here, too. That's 50 points. Sometimes you can get a thousand from those, I'm pretty sure. I think I've seen that happen before. Uh, what are we wanted to do now we want to get the other boat pieces so we want to get the power on so let's head towards the adventure course because that is where the power switch is power is in the mine of course <laughs> There's our MV4. We're definitely going to be picking one of those up soon for the boss fight, but not just now. Also, the Vlad, the upgrades are really weird with this strategy, so I'm going to refrain from picking them up, and you'll see why in a bit. This is the direction I wanted to go. The big recreational area, and then we're wanting to go towards the mine, which is down here. And just a quick little check. I think I can actually see one. Yeah, there we go. That is the... I don't need this one, but there we go. It's a statue anyway. Uh, I want to head down here into the actual rec room because there's a boat paddle just here. There we are. And and, right, I want to head out in the mine to get the power switch on. Then we can go get the last one and we can grab some jug. And we can also grab... Why have I completely forgot the name? Oh, Panatoms. There we go. All right. Uh, and down here is the power switch. There we go. So it's just one, unlike Spaceland, which really annoyed me. I'm not going to lie. And if we're fast here, we can get some cheeky extra points. Oh, bro, I was on it with, like... There we go. 100, 100, 100, 5. Okay, right, there we go. Once you get hit by a zombie, it's kind of wrapped, so... Right, now we can head up here. But this is where I... Exactly where I want to be, actually. Uh, I want to head over this direction. Do I? No, I don't. Still getting used to, the, like, the layout of the map. Bear with. Uh, I also took the liberty of turning up the brightness for you guys, because I knew that was probably going to start annoying people on Spaceland. Right, let's grab Tough Enough. And I want to grab the propeller. Right, I am aware we're probably going to have to go around here. That's fine, honestly. I'm, I'm not I'm not too arsed about rounds. But we've got a lot done here. We've basically got all the boat parts. What else have we got to do? Uh, we need to grab the other tape reel before we dip and actually use the boat so we can actually repair the uh, Pack-a-Punch projector thingy. You'll see what I mean when I get on the island. Uh... Man, my head is all over the place. There's the Vlad. That's what we need. We need to go over to the boat as a priority because it just unlocks so many things to do on the map. All right, which way is it towards the lake again? From here? I don't think this is the best route. I'm not sure, though. Can you go through to the lake through the mess hall? Is it out here? I want to go to the lake. I want to go this way. All right, 12.50. We've got enough for that. Uh, I want to go towards the boathouse. Do we have enough to get over there or is it going to be locked behind a door? Only time will tell and it is not. Okay, all right. Uh, there's the film reel I was looking for, and should we ride the boat now? Yeah, we might as well. Slowest boat known to man, by the way, but 
makes for good conversations. How's your guys' day, days been? Mine's been long, very, very long. The last thing I wanted to do was come home and record today, but like I said, I'm on such a tight schedule, and I just want to get this video out for you guys. Once we get over here, we'll repair the Pack-A-Punch machine, we'll also talk to Kevin to advance on through the Easter egg, and we'll grab the sausage out the bucket. Yeah, I know that sounds really, really weird for a zombie's map, but you know, everything sounds weird for a zombie's map until it's like actually playable, so don't knock it till you try it. Honestly, that's the whole feeling I've had with Infinite Warfare. Like, Zombies in Spaceland, really good map. Raven the Redwoods, honestly, people knocked it way too much when it came out. This map is sick, man. Uh, Shaolin Shuffle, uh, that deserves all the hate it gets because I've had a go at it and it's just not fun. Uh, right, there's the sausage I need and the other film reels out here. There we go, and let's have a little yap to Kevin. All right, let's also repair the projector. And there we go, there's the pack a punch. Nice. All right, I've just got to wait for this guy to stop yapping, and we do have a pouch, so we can definitely go get the rest of the stuff done next round, because I feel like we're going to need more points to get the doors open for the cabins. Should be able to get two of the symbols for the Vlad, though. Maybe I shouldn't have bought tough enough, but you know what it is? It's peace of mind. We'll go through round five and just save a zombie. All right, okay, let's zip blind back towards the main map here, and I'm trying to think what else we can do here. Uh, we can go grab the photo, but that does that does start the ritual, so I'm going to hold off on that, actually. I am just going to quickly have a little deek around as well, because, yep, there we go. There's the wolf statue. I need that. Um, I also want the owl one. But because we've already grabbed the other one, we kind of need to find all four now. It's a weird glitch with the inventory system. I don't know how it works, like, from a technical standpoint, but I just, once you pick up more than the ones you need, you need all four, otherwise you can't place them down. Uh, what else can we get done? Our cabins are up by this way, but I imagine this is locked behind a door. Yes, I am right in thinking that, right? We need to end the round. Mr. The zombie where are you at hello there we go shouldn't be a dog round or whatever it is on this map you know what i mean so we should be good what is this plasma grenades they're actually really good no it is not okay right um i am also going to take the liberty of using money shot here because we're not we're not going to use it in any other circumstance so might as well go for some headshots and stuff this thing does not last long so the more money the better this thing kind of sucks i'm not gonna lie uh cash i'll take that we just got like 500 there that's lucky yeah for a legendary thing it might be because I'm using, like, a semi-automatic weapon, but for a legendary fate in Fortune, that one sucks, man. Right, we got more than enough points to open up that door now. Golf Club is still satisfying as ever to use. Don't actually know when these things start to fall off, though. Uh, right, let's get this open. And is this where I want to be, or is there another door towards Camp Owl? I think there is. It's this one. Yep, there we go. And it is this one here that we need for the sausage. Okay, right. For those of you who don't know what I'm doing, I'm unlocking the Vlad and this little sausage that we picked up in the bucket before. We've got to go through it off deer statues and for some reason that spawns in a symbol. Pick up the symbols, it unlocks the chest with the Vlad inside. The Vlad being the crossbow. Now, we're going to start the upgrade processes for them too, but just not pick them up because there's a certain way you want to do it because, I, I don't know, man. It's just what the strategy says. Don't question it. It's better off that way. I think I'm, I'm not, I know what I'm doing to an extent though. I've just not really dabbled in the rituals. I've upgraded a couple of bows before. I just need to get better at the other stuff. I am actually going to grab some more ammo for my M1 though. Uh, there we are. All right, where is the main... Right, yeah, there. There's the fireplace I want to chuck off first right so chuck that in there run 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 i mean if it let me run there we go and then chuck this off of this there we go spawns that shoot it down grab the symbol our next one's in the opposite direction and it is towards the mess hall if we can get all three of these before the timer runs out are there any fairies about actually that we can listen to to extend this little rave mode this is what this is by the way uh chuck that off oh i didn't want to use a feet and foot oh that's such a waste press the one wrong the wrong button right uh grab 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 and towards the cabins if we can get all three of these done that would be perfect but i don't have high hopes are there any fairies kicking about? Yes, there is. Right, there we go. We've definitely got it now. Down this way, and then it was up here. Listen to the fairies again. Might as well. And then it's not this one. It's the next one along. And then you chuck that off there. There we are. Shoot that. And would you look at that? We have access to the Vlad. Pretty simple stuff. I'm gonna get a headshot because all the points are doubled in this mode. Um, that is the other stat you I need. That is lucky. Wait, is it the deal? What? No, it's not the deal. What? I need the right. So we got wolf. I need owl. I don't actually know what the owl stat you is though. That is the only issue. I mean, I know some of the locations. I mean, one can spawn on this bench up here, can't it? Yeah, it's not there. We can go check by the adventure course and stuff, but uh, I'll probably end up having to look up a guide to find the other ones. So what are we wanting to do? I want to go pick up a Vlad. Is what I want to do. I also want to get quick revive so i don't lose this run that would be such a shame man we're on like we're doing so well for the amount of time i've been like playing this map definitely gotta start doing this with easter eggs prior uh, this is the first time i've really planned ahead of one i kind of just hit record and just wing it uh break the lock there we go and we have a vlad 
Lovely stuff. This little cool little crossbow here. Uh, right. We want to go find the owl statue so we can start that up. Once we've done that, we'll start the upgrade process. Then we'll get ourselves in NV4 and we'll go start the first ritual because it'll only be like, what, around six, around seven-ish? Maybe eight if we'd like push it. Uh, we can head over the opposite direction and we can go check if the statue is in the mines. There is a location in the mines, although I do doubt it because, you know, there's no in my luck here. Uh, open atmosphere is out here, isn't it? Yes. Thank you. Such a cool idea to make the perks into sweets, man. Yes, I say sweets. Get over yourself. Um, Adventure course is the way I wanted to go. Sorry, that was a bit mean. Oh, there you go. British person being polite again. Yep. I'm feeding into your stereotype. Lovely stuff. There's the MV4. That's the war weapon we're going to have to grab at some point. Um, Jump this. I want to head towards the mine, so it's down this way. Is that Bang Bangs? Yes, so it would usually be there, but unfortunately, in this case, it's not. Okay. There's also a bit in the adventure course where it can spawn, so I guess we'll head back over towards that way. A recreation area, that's where I want to go. It's like with the bit where you fall down on the climbing wall. Hang on. I'll show you exactly what I mean. It is over here. If you just jump down, you can spawn down here. But I don't think it has in this case. Okay. All right, let's head back up. Let's do the walk of shame. We might have to go another round just so we can get some more points to open up the rest of the map because there's still the other side of the lake that we haven't done. You know, all that fun stuff. Um, I think what's the best way to go about this, really? Yeah, I think I'm going to go another round and grind some points. It might be a dog round, which is unfortunate, but it's okay. Just as a latch, latch, just as a last ditch effort, though, I am going to go check the other spawn by the cabins that I didn't check. Um, but if not, I do think it's towards the lake and not towards the uh, boathouse. It's like there, over by that way. But if it is here, I will eat my hat on camera live. Uh, I am wanting to go this way, and then it's like in the little cubby in the house somewhere. In here? Is this where it is usually? No, it's on like the balcony where that perk is. No, it's another one of these open houses. Yeah, it's this one. Oh, there you go! That's why you always check. What are the odds? Alright, so I don't need to actually go grind points. We can just chill and upgrade these statues. That's perfect. That's actually, that's so nice. We're not wasting rounds just like grinding our points and wasting kills. Lovely stuff, man. Um, Right, we want to head towards the wreck area. So that's back the way we came. So yeah, we're heading over towards the cabins. I actually completely forgot to announce my video. I had to jump cut there a little bit. I do the, uh, the little cheeky Discord announcement. If you guys do want to join the Discord, by the way, I don't plug it a lot because I just don't really see a point. Um, Link is in the description or on the eye card in the top right if I can be bothered to put it there. Uh, we are, yeah, we're heading the right way. This is definitely the direction I wanted to go here. So, those little statues that we picked up, we want to stick one on here, one on here. Uh, come on. There we go. One on here, and one on here. Now, the aim of the game here is not to kill the zombies, it's to get them so weak to the point that they pop. Watch, I'll show you. Oh, well, no, that was a really bad example. My god. I didn't mean to kill them. You base right, I'm gonna do one headshot and then one body shot and see how that does. Right, yeah, it's one of these, okay. Do these count towards it? No, they do not. I'm just gonna end the round, okay. That's unfortunate, though. Uh, can I use the Vlad? I can actually showcase a little bit here. Bosh! And then it blows up like that, but the blast radius is a bit temperamental on it, actually. Plasma grenade, why not? Ow, they actually do hurt a little bit, right? I think I'm just gonna use the Vlad as a crossbow, as it was meant to be used. It's actually kind of hard to aim with it, I won't lie. Oh my god, man! There we go, right? Give me my max ammo. Then, after we've done this, we've got to go upgrade these two, and then we can get ourselves a pack a punch to MV4, start the first ritual. You know how it goes! Uh, I think we want to grab the photo now, though. Yeah, pick up item. There we go. Right, yeah, that's the, that's what I want to do. Just headshot them once, and then they'll disintegrate. Okay, that's fine. I can do that. That's actually really, really nice. When I was doing my practice run, I had to do one body shot, one headshot. That is lovely, man. No way they're charged already. Shut up. Oh my god, they are. Okay. That did not take any time whatsoever. Right, I'm going to save these zombies, and I'm going to pick up all four statues, but we only have to go up to two. Uh, we need the owl one and the wolf one. Lead these zombies over here so I don't down. Uh, owl, and then we need wolf as well. But I'm going to pick up all four. That one. Give. Oh, it won't let me. Okay. Ugh, I want to save all these zombies because it just saves so much time. There we go. I need that one, and then I need that one. Lovely. All right, these have the initial charges on them. Now let's go do their second charges. Once these are done, we just have to focus on getting this first ritual done. All right, I want to head over towards the cabin so it is through this way. I am right. I was just about to double take myself there and do a 180. I think I can actually go to the cabins from here, but I haven't unlocked that door. And as you can see, I don't have the most amount of points. So I've already got it open one end. It does not bother me if I have to run over. So I've got that little thing called patience sometimes. Uh, cabins. Let's just hope it doesn't glitch and I can slap down both of them. You know, at the same time. Uh, right, wolf. I'll get this one done first. Uh, can we put the other one down just as, a, like, you know, a keepsake that it actually can get set down, please? Yes, it can. Right, okay. And we can do them both here, actually, I think. And it only counts as one. So we only have to get one round of zombies to charge them both up. And that's fine. Pouch, I need that. Give. Wow, upgrading these bows is not... Right, no, that's not charged. Neither's that. I was about to say, upgrading these bows is not... That's gems. 
it's not the hardest things. Once these two statues are done, we're, we're literally done. Pick up cash, and that one is still thingy as well. I'm going to pick up this cash, why not? Yeah, there you go, I got a thousand. That's crazy. Still going to get a few more kills around here. Train them up a little bit, you know, try not to waste all of the ammo in this little crossbow thing. Are we done? Yep, that one is, and is this one. Yes, right, they're both done. Lovely. Right, let's save up enough points to get an MV4 and pack it once, then we'll go start the boss thingy. Well, the ritual, you know what I mean. We have a pouch as well, don't we? Yes, we do. And the M1 is a wicked point gun once you start climbing up in the rounds, so not too shabby at all. Okay, don't know how much an MV4 is, but I wouldn't imagine it's 6k on the dot. I would ideally don't want to end this round, though, so... Infinite ammo, that would have been brilliant about, like, 10, 10 seconds ago when I was trying to do this, but, you know. Right, I really can't see it being more than 1500, so let's go grab the MV4 now, and then we'll head over to the Pack-a-Punch machine, which is over on the boat. MV4 is by the Assault Corps, so I'm going the wrong way. Half an hour in, and we're pretty much set up. That is brilliant, honestly. Wait, I want to be heading towards the Adventure Course. Don't know why I keep calling the Assault Course. I think Dalek said it in one of his tutorials, and I just kind of went with it. Uh, but this is definitely the gun I am wanting to grab. What is, what is it called again? The NV4. There we are. And let's go get this thing pack-a-punched. It's a goofy-looking gun, I won't lie. But apparently it does a lot of damage against this guy we're going to be going up, to, up against. I think it's called the Slasher. All right, we're wanting to head over towards the Boathouse. Boathouse. And I hope it is still 5k points to pack a bunch because I can't lie, I don't remember being any different on this. Alright, okay, uh, help in the boat. And away we go, very slowly. Bit of clutch, and away we go. That was the uh, driving joke there, you know, you know, I, I, I'm learning to drive. Can't you tell? I'm gonna shut up about your F and F card, man. I'm saving it for a reason, man. The characters start saying quotes when you don't use them, and it's, it's, it gets kind of annoying because they just keep repeating themselves. All right, here we are. All right, okay, and then we'll hop through here and chuck this in here. In Rave of the Redwoods, pack a bunch of weapons. I've got an achievement. You probably can't see it on screen, though. There we go, the Reckoner. And we'll head back through to the main map. Now we need to head over to the... I call it the Baby Rec Room because it's like... It, it looks like the recreation area without all the music and the lights, but I can't remember what it's actually called. It's the area before the assault course, like the Tiki Fire Pit, I think it's called. Um, all right, we need to head over there because we need to go start the ritual. That's the whole reason why I bought this fucking weird-looking weapon. Hopefully it is enough damage to kill him. I've heard of the strategy it is, but that was with attachments, so... Might have to be using a little bit of the Vlad and stuff here. Oh right, yeah, this is exactly where I want to be. Um, we've got the prompt to place the item. Let's get this done. So we need to start jibbing zombies, basically. We just need to shoot off their arms. And that is not what I wanted to do, but okay. I'll grab an ammo clip here, why not? See, jibbing the zombies is going to be the hardest thing, man. I think we are getting uh, souls there, though, because it, it did go in. Yeah, it's definitely going in. I'm, I'm, I'm getting souls, okay. It's good enough for me. Ah, I've never sucked at shooting zombies more than I have now. You know, all, the, all them hours of training to hit the head, and now it's all, oh, yeah, hit the arms. Hit the arms, please, mate. Okay, there he is. Right, right, he's spawning in. He's spawning in, I think. I think, anyway. Is he? Or did we mess that? No, we messed that up. Okay. All right, we'll give it another go, I guess. Uh... I don't really fancy dying, mate. And we lost a perk. Oh, my God. We probably shouldn't have gone into this then, to be fair. Okay, right. Let's spawn him in. Oh, run away, run away, run away. I might actually use my scratch post here. Yeah, we might as well. Yep, and now he's dead. Brilliant. <laughs> okay. That's a really overpowered fate and fortune card of. And did we complete that step? I think we did. Give me my thing, please. Yeah, there we go, right? We got one quarter of it. That is exactly what I wanted to do. Might use the Fate and Fortune card to do it, but honestly, it was worth it in my opinion. All right, what well, I think I'm going to do now, though, is I am definitely going to be saving my points for Tough Enough again because we did, in fact, actually lose our Tough Enough there. I'm very fortunate that I wasn't quick revived, though. We got a thousand cash from that. Keep wanting to say points and stuff, man. All right, okay. We have the first rich, 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 the rule, ritual done before round 10. That is ideal. We do need to go talk to Kevin after this, but like I said, I want to grab Tough Enough first. Sorry for the uh, abrupt jump cut there. I did have to kind of like lock in a little bit to shoot the zombie's arms. I know it sounds stupid, but you'd see what I mean if you watch the footage back. In fact, I might actually include some. I just tend not to include downtime because it makes the video a bit boring. Right. Tough enough. That's what I wanted. Right. And we're actually going to pick up the Banshee here as well. I know it seems stupid to me swapping out the Vlad, but just trust me, yeah? Because our next ritual involves us actually getting the, I think it's the legs off the zombies and then it's headshots. So we're going to be getting the bows as the last thing before the boss fight. Right. What fate and fortune cards do I have left? Literally just just explosive touch. Okay, I think I might try and save that for the boss fight. Pick up cash, why not? 50, could be a thousand, you never know. We do have a pouch here. I might actually use it to get some points to pack a bunch of the Banshee. Right, let's head over to the island. The slowest cutscene. I think this actually takes the cake from being worse than GK's pack a bunch of cutscene. There's actually still quite a few left. Pick up cash, how much is that? 500, I will definitely take that. And we'll go and talk to Kevin and continue on with the Easter egg. Wait, was that really? Or he literally just said, man, I really wanted to make some movie. Right, cool, right. Now we can go and 
go start the next part, but first, I do want to kind of grind for some perks and stuff. So I think that is what we're going to do. Might go take advantage of the pouch we have as well. We could definitely do that. Oh, I am actually so glad it didn't take my quick revive away, man. It's a terrible thing to lose this early on. We've only done one ritual. It's not like we're like three deep or anything. Uh, we need the other half of the photo now. I can't actually remember where that is. Okay, not too far. It's actually in the tough enough room. So that is this way. Man, do I want stamina up. I feel like I'm running about like the slowest individual on earth. Uh, so it's upstairs. It's through this door. And then it's to here and through here. And there we are. Lovely. And that's round. I'll pick up the cash too. 50 points. All right, and I think I'm going to take advantage of my pouch here and we're going to get some points. So I'm going to wait for them to spawn in. Just, you know, all right, there they are. And chuck that into there. Go into rave vision. And let's get double points on everything. Try and aim for the head. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Was that the fucking... Is that the slasher? Yes, what, what, what is Blood doing here? Does he just spawn in now in rave mode? That's crazy. Oh my god, move. All right, lesson learned. Don't go into rave mode. All right, we have enough points to pack anyway. Wait, he's not here still, is he? No, he's gone. Okay, that's fine. And I think we have, like, literally one zombie left. Yes, we do. All right, let's go and pack a bunch of the Banshee. Then we'll start the next ritual, which is legs. A lot more easier to aim than arms for the hitboxes anyway, at least. Don't know why I've ran over here since I need to go to the lake, but, you know. Sometimes my brain just works on autopilot, man. I, it's been a long day. Day. My boat house this is where I want to be. And then we want to pack a bunch of the Banshee. And then I'm pretty sure the next ritual actually is somhere around here. Yeah, th mm, no, that's a statue, is it? Why Why does it get a prompt to place an item there? Weird. Uh, I don't know where I'm doing my next ritual. I, th I think it is somewhere around here, though. Right, let's have a little trip over to the island. All right, okay, and we're going to go pack a bunch of the Banshee. So we're going to head straight for the projector. We're not going to bother talking to Kevin because the photo is still blurred. All right, there we go. And chuck that in there. Thank you. The sacrificial light. Um, and let's head back to the main map. I think that ended the round, actually, so we are on to scene 10 now. There we are. Right, we're wanting to head over towards the wreck area. Um, I'm just going to double check. We are going to lose quick revive if we mess this up. That is the issue. Uh, we should be okay, though. I'd imagine we're okay. Might grab bang bangs just for, like, you know, extra safety, but I don't know if that's going to take up a perk slot that I actually am going to need later on, so I might not. We'll go start this second ritual, though. It shouldn't be too bad. And even if I lose quick revive, it's only one, and we can regather ourselves and try a different strategy. I have heard that you Using the balloon trap is definitely a viable option, but I don't know if that's been patched. I'd imagine it has because the, uh, the the like the main strategy thing that was made most recently just told me to use the banshee and shoot off their legs. So we should be okay. I'd imagine we'll be okay. All right, there we go. Gas grenades. I mean, mm, sure. All right, place item. We'll start the ritual. Here we go. I need to shoot off legs. Remember legs. Right. Does this work? Oh, God, I don't know if this works. Oh, yes, it does. It does. It does. I'm just going to aim right at the floor. Oh, the Banshee works wonders for this. Oh, my God. Bro, shout out to whoever made that strategy, guys. I'm going to leave a link with it in the, in, the, in the description of the icon or something. Okay, it's done. Move. Okay, right. Spawn him in. Move. Oh, I'm being bombarded by zombies, man. Bro, his charged attack is terrifying. Oh, God, he's left me one hit. Okay, okay, okay. Right, I've lost. Quick revive regardless anyway. <laughs> Well, talk about luck. Oh, my God. He was still kicking about when I was outside here. So I just managed to kill him really quick. I think the photo should be done now. If it is, I am going to be so happy. If not, I'm going to be really sad. I thought I was going to have to pause my recording, you know, go through the whole rigmarole, getting points and stuff. Let's just not die now, yeah? That was really, really lucky. The MV4 is absolutely sick. Uh-oh. How did I miss that jump? Lucky this thing's one shot. Really need to get tough enough back, though. There we go. Right, let's go see if the photo was there, huh? Yes, it is. Oh, my God. Let's go. Right. Um, did, did, did we get it? Oh, I thought it glitched there. I was about to cry. All right, okay. Um, I think I'm just going to try to clear out the horde with the, with the rest of my MV4 here. We'll try to build some points as well. Because we want top enough back. Let's not lose our quick revive, please. Okay, I think that is last zombie-ish. No, it's not. There's still loads. Right, I think we're chilling now. Let's go grab tough enough. And I'm pretty sure we're back to business. We've got to go talk to Kevin as well. We'll get that done. And then we've got to go do the skull step, which is getting headshots. And once we've done that, we're pretty much boss fight ready. I am also going to take the liberty of grabbing the acid rain and stuff once I'm through here. Um, in fact, I might just go another round before we do the third ritual because it's just a pain in the arse. Just to build some points so we can go get the rest of our perks. Uh, there we go. Tough enough. I feel better already. And yeah, I think I am going to go another round, actually. Um, okay, yeah, I'm definitely going another round because I don't fancy doing the third ritual without all my perks and stuff. This is when we actually want to pick up the Ben Franklin and the acid rain very of the Vlad, which we will do soon, but not right now. Uh, ammo clip? Sure. It's only scene 12. It's not too bad. But then again, this is Infinite Warfare round 12, so 
Things could get on a bit here. Um, I think I've got a frog stuck in my throat, man. Speaking of frogs, actually, we need to do that charm. It's really useful in the boss fight, but I actually can't remember how to do it. I used to, I like, know how to do a couple of the charms, but not many. The frog was definitely one of them. I just can't remember how you start it. I know you've got to go about in rave mode and, like, ground pound a bunch of, like, robo frogs. That's all I can remember, though, of it. Okay, we want racing stripes, which I think actually is in here. Yeah, it is. I think that's racing stripes anyway. Is it? I don't know. Regardless, let's build some points. That's trailblazers. I always get them too confused. All right, I'm going to go pick up mule munchies because I want to go have both of my wonder weapons, preferably on me instead of just sitting in, like, stasis. It's only 2k points on this game, which is really nice, you know, and considering that the perk limit on this is 5, it just makes for such a more enjoyable experience. It also tells you what your mule kick weapon is, man. Could you ask for much more? Right, mule munchies. Hello. Right, uh, I'm gonna grab the Vlad as our mule kick weapon, and I know what you're thinking, just bear with me. I'm not picking up the acid rain as our mule kick one. The Ben Franklin's the mule kick one, and then you come back, and I'm gonna trade out the Banshee for another Vlad, because for some reason, on solo, you can just pick up as many as you want, which I think, personally, is quite cool. Could you actually imagine if you could pick up, like, infinite Horizon Drac bows? That's, but that would just be so sick. So for the Ben Franklin, we want to pick up the wolf, yeah? Yeah, there we go. That's exactly what I wanted. And we need to go swap out the Sacrificial Lamb, although it is a very, very good weapon for another one of the Vlads, so we can grab the other upgrade. See, I am on my game today. Uh, right, I want to swap this out. Give me another Vlad. Run back, grab the Acid Rain, and then we'll start the third ritual once I've got all my perks. So we might have to go just one more round. I'd kind of ideally want him because I'm hoping for another dog round because uh, we are on 40 bullets and 6 in reserve for the assault rifle here. So I don't really fancy jumping into a ritual with 40 bullets. Although we do have two wonder weapons, it's just, I don't know. Don't really like the idea of it too much. Uh, right, we are wanting to pick up this. So, gimme. Yeah, the acid rain. Right, and then I'm going to head over to the wreck area because it's the most open and we will end the round. And then, wait, actually, what is the thing you need to do before? I, no, 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 we need to go talk to Kevin. We'll get that done. And then we need to go pick up the skull and then we'll go do the ritual afterwards, yeah? Sound good? Sounds good. Right, let's head over towards Kevin. I think this might be for one of the final times. No, we've probably got one more to do with a skull. Maybe? I don't know. Alright, get Kevin's dialogue, head back to the main map, and then, what did I say I want to do? I want to have the wreck area, because it's like the most open area to get points. Do we have a pouch? Yeah, we do. Alright, Kevin said his dialogue. Let's head back now. Jump in here. So glad you don't have to use the boat twice, man. It'd be so boring. Even using it once makes me want to fall asleep. I have to open TikTok, man. That's actually really worrying that I've said that out loud. <laughs> Uh, what other perks do we need here? We need the stamina up equivalent, which I think is towards the cabin. So we'll head up and go grab that now. Because I think it's only 2,000. And I think it's by the cabins. It's like where we picked up the first statue that I found. Or the last one. Yeah, I think it's the last one. Yeah, there we go. Racing Stripes. That's what it's called. I can never remember the name of that one. All right. Uh, there we... No, nope, it's this side. Thank you. And our last perk, funnily enough, is going to be Quickies. Which I think is still 3k. Pick up an ammo clip. For sure I will grab that. All right. I'm going to head over towards the wreck area. And then we will start the last ritual and then it's boss fight by round 12 is crazy quickies is also by the uh, wreck area so that works out max ammo too lovely stuff i actually get to showcase the wonder weapons a little bit here For those of you who didn't play iw this is what the acid rain does very very cool does what it says on the tin and then you've got the benjamin franklin <laughs> just laser beams them i feel quite powerful honestly like not too powerful to the extent that i think i'm gonna you know get a bit ahead of myself uh we oh, do we do the frog chomp nah nah we'll leave the frog chomp bro i'm sure we'll be okay i hope we'll be okay <laughs> Whenever I walk past here, I can just hear the fucking up and atom jingle. Get up and atom. The jingles on this game for the perks aren't even half bad, you know. For the amount of time they had to make this mode, man. Like, honestly, like, hats off to Lee Ross. Any maps past here, Easter egg-wise, do get a bit mid, but... Eh, okay, you do. You can't, you can't win them all. Spaceland, uh, Raven the Redwoods, and I do like a little bit of Attack of the Radioactive thing if I'm not doing the Easter egg. Yeah, Quickies is 3k. That's fine. All right, and that is round. Grab my max ammo. Unfortunately, it doesn't do the BO4 thing. I'd also prefer to not use all my NV4 ammo, so I might hold them up and just use like an acid rim bullet. It should give us a bunch of points. Right, there we go. Yeah, look at that, man. One shot and compared to like a billion bullets we would have to shoot at the MV4. Grab that. There we go. And that is all of our perks. Uh, I am still going to continue to shoot this thing now just because... Oh, there you go. Insta-kill. Perfect. Kill off the excess of the horde here. Ammo clip. I will take that. Why wouldn't you want to take a, like a fresh ammo clip just sitting on the ground? I didn't mean to end the round. I didn't think that was end of the round, to tell you the truth. Oh, my God. All right, we're getting a bit too ahead of ourselves now. We just need to slow it down. Oh, I hate the fact we just start a new round. Yeah, I am clearing out this round until we get the last zombie and then we'll go do the ritual. I just cannot be bothered to be having spawns interfering when we go downstairs to grab the skull and stuff and probably down by some stupid way knowing me, so. See what Benjamin Franklin does here. Little horde. Not too shabby. It made some crawlers, actually. That's not too great, actually. The acid rain is so satisfying to use, man. What? 
Oh my god, there's so many zombies. Okay, that's a few. Uh, cluster grenades, sure. Could be good for taking them out here. Um, I do expect to down, because I, 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 we've almost, like, we almost down on the first one. We down on the second one. So I do expect to down here, but, you know, I, I, th I think we'll be okay in the long run. Uh, right, I want to go downstairs, because I want the skull. Thank you. Right, we're wanting to go towards the lake now, I'm pretty sure, because that is where the last ritual is. Let's get this done, shall we? We haven't even opened this door yet. Right, and uh, from what I remember, it is on the beach somewhere. That's that's the pouch. I don't want to do that. Yeah, place item. Here it is. Okay, right. We're wanting to get headshots here. Headshots. Shouldn't be too hard considering that our weapon still does a lot of damage. Yeah, they kind of just pop like balloons. I won't even lie. Okay, that's that done. And we'll spawn him in. Run away. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Shoot another one of them things off him. Benjamin. There's a lot of zombies behind me, man. I can't see him, man. All I can see is acid rain. Oh my god, I don't want to lose my perk. Please, man. Please, 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 please. There he's dead. Let's go. Give me my max ammo. Let me reload this. Frag grenades. I do not want frag grenades. Woo! Right, inspect the last item. And we're done. Oh, this is where you refill your card deck. Yes. Okay, I think we're up to boss fight now. I'm going to go talk to Kevin, get his dialogue, and then I'm going to see what we need to do from there. Because this is the furthest I have ever been. Honestly, this hasn't been too bad up until now. I'm sure the boss fight will be, you know, a bit of a surprise, probably. Uh, One tap him just so I can, you know, open this debris. And off we go. All right, let's see what Kevin has to say. Land ho, or whatever the Americans said when they took that land. Okay, right. Right, Kevin, this is the last time I'm going to be talking to you, buddy. Oh, oh, wait, no, he's gone. What? Uh, 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 okay. I thought you had to talk to Kevin at the last... Okay, I, I genuinely think we're ready to boss fight. Well, I mean, there's not really a point in holding back. We might as well just go for it, to tell you the truth. We might want to charge our fate and fortune, but by the time we get in there and start killing zombies, I doubt it's going to be an issue. So, yeah, let's go boss fight, I guess. From what I remember, you go into the mess hall, and then you go towards where spawn is, and there's a button down below where you've got to hold F on, and then you can go boss fight. Oh, yeah, it's this one here. There we go. All right, I actually think we're ready to go. Uh, is it worth charging the fate and fortune? Nah, we'll be fine. We'll be fine, and if not, it'll be a fail, and I'll cry in a corner or whatever I do when I fail Easter eggs. I tend to just get a little bit mad and I move on. <laughs> right, okay, so if our plans are right here, Kevin should be sat in the boat. Yes, he is. Right, off we go. Oh, he's having a realisation he killed him. Oh, rest in peace, my man, Kevin. He becomes the big boss. Actually fucking terrifying. <laughs> Right, okay, boss fight time. Here we go. Right, uh, can I have my guns, please? Guns? Guns? Yes, there we go. Right, three skulls that we need to charge up. Let's get this done, then. I'm gonna hold them up a little bit, and then we'll just use the acid rain. Uh, there we go. There we go. Shoot that. Is that done? Can't tell if that's done yet. Not yet. Not yet. Okay, it is now, I think. Actually, I don't know yet. I, can't, I really can't tell. No, it is not. Right, okay. Right, there it is. It's a, it's a big beacon now. Lovely stuff. Right, there's a one over here that we need to do now. Uh, go away, you big meanie. All right. Wait for them to come here. Shoot that. Shoot that. Oh, he's slamming. What? Already? What? Fuck off. No way. What? And I'm just expected to do this now, am I? Give. What did I lose? Oh my god, bro, what? There's no way that actually just happened. You're fucking joking, man. Oh my god, I can't believe that. Right, there we go. That little spot on the ground's lit up. I am gonna grab this max ammo now. Ow, for fuck's sake, man, really? Right, I've gotta get him over this way. Oh my god, there's so many zombies. All right, can you come here, please, you big meanie? Move! Oh, okay. Right, he stood there. Is that is that good? Did I do it? Yes, no, maybe so. Okay, yes. I need to shoot his weak spot. Did I do it? I think I did. I don't know. I don't know if I did that, man. I can't actually see where his little weak spot is here. Come on, show face. Oh my god, having no jug or anything makes this so much more nerve-wracking. Christ. I shot his other symbol. Where's the next one? Where's the next one? Where's the next one? On his arm and on his shoulder. No, 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 no. Shoot that. Shoot that a bunch. Move. Oh, my nerves are through the roof, man. Is is this step nearly done? Like, surely. Surely it's nearly done now, man. Come on. Move. Oh. Oh my god, man. No, 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 no. I'm not dying to one zombie here. Oh my god, did we wait, hang on. I think that's the first stage done. Did we actually do it, please? Yes, okay, right, thank fuck. Okay, them things are following me now. Uh, that's even better with, you know, no perks or anything. Brilliant, brilliant, honestly. Right, we want to be standing in here, don't we? Right, okay, this is the last one of the first stage. Let's just use the acid rain here. You know, just uh, you, we've literally got probably the best weapon for this. I'm kind of glad the Benjamin Franklin was the one we lost and not this one. I'd really prefer not to die here. It'd be so embarrassing. An F and F card here would be lovely as well. There we go, we done it. Yeah, let's go. 
Alright, I'm going to take the liberty of grabbing that max ammo now. And I'm going to charge up these skulls, might as well. Get this shit done now. We have an FNF card as well. Not that it's really much use, but whatever. Leg it over here, get this skull done as well. Wait for the zombies to come over. There go, shoot that. Just really need to keep an eye on where he's going and the amount of spawns that are, like, coming around. God, please, no, 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 please. No hablo inglés! Oh, my God. Why did my Spanish come out there? Like, bro, bro I, I I don't speak Espanol. Right, that one's charged. This one needs charged now. Come on, hurry up. Hurry up, hurry up. Hurry up. Whoa! No! Oh, fuck. Right, okay, yes. Yeah, sod that. We are having another go. I, 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 right. Call it cheap. Call it what you want. But... We were so unbelievably close. There's no way I'm doing that whole thing again. Just have another go. No, 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 no. We're beating this now. Like, wait, now, bro. Get these skulls charged up. We were at such a perk disadvantage, man. All right, that's lit up. And then the other one needs lit up. Just really need to be careful of them, man. Like, that was what got us... Do like, doing this over here is what got us killed the first time. Let's not do it again, yeah? All right, shoot this now. Just need to be mindful and move out of his road as well. Because, like, when he does that slam thing, it puts me one shot. Not good at all. Pouch. Don't know what I'm going to use that for, but I'll take it, I guess. He's slamming! Yep, like that. That should be it, surely. Yep, there we go. I'm going to grab this max ammo now. Now we've got to lead him, in, lead him into that little circle, which I think is on the right. Yes, it is. Right, okay. Come here. Come here. Get in here. Come on. Get in here, you big bitch. Come on. Get in. Get in the circle. There you go. All right, now he's got these little fucking purple things around him. And is he... No, wait, wait, what? What? Oh, does the boss fight cut that short? Oh, that's kind of cringe. Oh, no, it doesn't. It doesn't. It doesn't. I was going to say that would even really cringe if it did. But no, he's still got the purple symbols around him. That's fine. Focus up on these. Move when he slams. See, if I had prior knowledge of the slams, Mr. Tutorial, I don't think I would have died on the first attempt, to tell you the truth. Where's he gone? Oh, he's there. Right, where's the symbol? Move. Yeah, it's pretty easy to time when you actually know in hindsight. Um, yeah, I don't think this boss fight's actually going to be that difficult now that I've had some experience with it. Could still take me another couple of goals, though, so I'm not going to get cocky. Come on, is this purple symbol shit nearly done, man? I'm, I'm getting sick of this. Move. Alright, no, great. Now the zombies are spawning again. The acid rain does this. Does does this? It makes this way easier. Come on, man. It's got to be nearly there now. Surely that's him. Yeah, I think that's him. Nice. All right, grab the max ammo. Stay away from the blades. He'll do his green thing, and then we've got another round of that to go. And then once we're done, we're done. And I'm going to class this as half a point, I, I guess. It doesn't necessarily count towards the completion of the Easter egg. We definitely failed it by the book. But if we beat the boss right here, I'll be satisfied at least. And I hope you will be too. We did the same for Spaceland, so it's kind of like a rebound in case we mess up the Easter egg or it glitches or something like that. Spaceland was literally purely game mechanic, man. I don't know what happened. Yeah, the Acid Rain is definitely the play for this fight, man. There we go. He's been damaged. Do I have a max ammo? Do I have disposal? Yes, I do. Do, and we need to charge these skulls again. Get an early start on this one before he like jumps back in and shit. Is that one a beacon yet? Don't know. Should be now, surely. Yep. All right. Okay. Oh, he walled that off. Okay. Cheers, mate. I need the max ammo, and I'm gonna assume this is walled off too. No. Really? Okay. All right. Let's keep filling this thing up. Come on, more zombies, more zombies. Come on, more zombies, more zombies. Please, please. I don't want the other one to go down. Please. Yes. Is that it? Is that it? I think that's it. Yep. He's got purple symbol on him now. We're still in rave mode though. Oh no, no, no. We got it. We got lead him with the circle first, I remember. Move. Get him in there. And he's trapped now. There'll be a... Why is there a purple symbol on him already? That's really weird. Right, now we shoot these. Ugh. Oh, what? 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 Why? 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 Why did that happen? What happened there? I just got swarmed. Oh my god. Don't tell me it's wraps now, man. Right, so you see, if we have one zombie trailing us, I don't think the next horde can spawn in, because judging by the things, that is how it works. I think anyway, because the, I don't see any more zombies spawning in. If we can laser focus on this guy, I am chilling. Move. Move. He's slamming. Uh, any more symbols? Yes. Move. If I spawn another horde in, now it is wraps, bro. Right, it should be nearly done. Surely. Maybe one more symbol? Yep, probably. Maybe two more? I don't know, actually. I think it's random every time. No! Okay, it only red screens you. Only. Yeah, I say only. On his arm? How many more symbols, man? Come on. There we go! Right, stay away from these blades. Wait till he jumps up. Where's he putting that uh, safe space? Because I need to run away instantly. There, over there, over there. Go, 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 go. Pop this. Right, and then we just utilize the acid rain. Just so it actually kills all the skeletons. This isn't that hard to survive. I guess we just spammed it at the floor the last time. And also, reloading doesn't take that long, so... Are we done? Yeah? No? Wait, don't tell me there's more, man. Come on. Wait, what? How many times do I have to do this? I've been scammed. Fuck me, man. Move, 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 move. No, there's a wall. I guess this should be the final stage. I mean, you'd hope, right? Right, I can't tell if, it, if the skulls did the thing or they weren't fully raised up. No, they did it. They did it. Oh, scary. How do I get him into there? Also, I think I'm due that max ammo. Yes, I am. Thank you. All right, get over here. 
Yep, hurry up, do your long ass walk. Come on. Move. And you slammed into the wrong area, bud. There should be purple spots now. Yes, no. No, 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 no. Wait, what do we do? What am I doing wrong? Wait, that didn't count. What? Come over here, man. You're making a mug of me now. Ow, 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 ow. Yeah, stand there, stand there, stand there, stand there. Yeah, don't move, don't move, don't move. There we go. Get me out of rave mode. Please just be the last time I have to do this. I'm going to use explosive touch here, actually. Just as a little fail save, because I don't really fancy doing this again. We're like 30 minutes deep. Right, purple symbols. Not too many to. <laughs> not too difficult at all, I was going to say. I was about to say not too anything difficult. That doesn't make any sense whatsoever. Move. Okay, his purple symbols are sponging my bullets, man. Oh. <sighs> Right, we have a couple of zombies. Let's not kill them. Let's just focus on him, yeah? Where's this other purple spot? Ow, okay. Just kick me in the face, why don't you? Cheers. Right, am I healed? Yes, I am. It's on his arm. I see that there. It's another purple spot down. Come on, we must be close. Grab this max ammo now. We might as well. Move. Right, it's on his leg now. His slam is terrifying, man. There you go. There's another purple spot down. See, we could have done this no perks. It was just I didn't realize you had to go three waves. Move. Right, how many more spots, man? You got you surely gotta be nearly done now. Come on. Move. No way we shot off another one. He's still not dead. Bro, come on. There we go. Right, did he have a hissy fit? Yes. No. Yes. Right, jump. Do you jump and go away. What? 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 No, I guess he's not done. Ow. Oh, 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 no, we're done. We just literally have to just lay into him now. Okay. Oh, I might actually, I'm, I might do what's called a pro gamer move. Hang on, hang on. Wait for him to do his next slam. Now I need to choose my fate and fortune quick. Might as well use all my acid rains first. See if that kills him. Ow, ow, ow. Okay, move. Well, nearly, surely. Right, okay. Still got like 40 bullets left in this thing, included with the max ammo. So, might as well just use all of it to its fullest capabilities. Not waste anything here. <laughs> Bro, this strategy of just not killing the zombies is fucking great, man. Right, we'll grab this max ammo now. Let him do his slam and stuff. Oh, I thought I had my claw on here. What? I thought I had the thing that gives me the claw. That's really annoying. Ow, that shouldn't have hit. I was out of that by the time he slammed. This is actually just becoming a fucking battle of wit, man. Come on, just die. Is he dead? No, I thought he was. I refuse to believe he's not dead, man. Come on. We're two max ammos deep on him. How much HP does this guy have, man? Is he dead? Is he dead? Oh my god, do we do it? Do we do it? Do we do it? Yes! Oh, well, that looks like he's dying. If he isn't dead, I don't know what that is. Oh my god, I was literally just like... It was actually becoming like a battle of wit. I'm out of ammo in here. Is he dead? Please tell me he's dead. No way we got the time on 2020. I refuse. Oh my god, no way. Okay. Right, well, we did beat the Super Slasher, whether it was an Easter egg or not, that's debatable. But we beat him. Thank fuck. Right, okay, Shaolin Shuffle. Uh, I don't know how to feel about this map, to tell you the truth. I don't hate it. I don't really like it either from what I've played of it so far. But you know what it is? We're going to give it a very good go. And, you know, if we do fail the boss out, which I don't think we will this time, because I have been uh, practicing a little bit, compared to Raven the Redwoods, where I just went in there all willy-nilly. But we did go back and redo it, so we got a bit of a rebound on it with the boss fight mode. So I count that as a W, to be fair with you. Okay, and then... Where's this last zombie at? Come on, show face. You know you want to. There he is. There we go. And that is round. Okay. I usually like to go a couple of rounds in here. We're also going to flick this power switch on, which is on the opposite direction, because I'm stupid. There it is. They actually went back, instead of just one central power switch, they went back to doing all the separate ones, like with Spaceland. I can't remember if that's the case with Attack of the Radioactive Thing. I'd imagine it is. Or do they just keep flip-flopping between one and two power switches? I'm not too sure. But we are going to want to be focusing on getting power and Pack-A-Punch on, because that is the first step to unlocking our Chi. We need to get our Chi up to level one, so we can get the shurikens, and then we need to start the rat cage step. Sounds like a lot already? I know. It's about to get a lot worse. This is one of the more hands-on Easter eggs, if you if you will. Uh, ammo clip? I'll take an ammo clip. It means that I can prolong the amount of time it takes for me to buy a gun. Right. All right, okay, and that should be round. I don't know if this bank actually works like, you know, a normal bank, how it does like in BO2, or it's just for the match. I'm really not sure, man. Okay, I'm just right. Okay, we've meleeed all the zombies. Lovely stuff. I'm going to grab myself one of these pistols that's on the wall here. This is my little strategy that I like doing. I'm not necessarily going off one. Because when I was playing Raven the Redwoods, yes, it was optimized, but I felt like I was just kind of going off a guide, and it wasn't really too fun to play. It was, it was probably fun to watch because, like, you know, I'm on it, but I don't know. I think winging stuff sometimes, it just makes for a more fun video, if you get what I mean. Um, all right, we have a bunch of Fate and Fortune cards as well. I've been doing some off-camera mining. Ahem, I mean, just, you know, like, totally not cheating. All right, we can get away with three in the chest here. One, two, three. There we go. One, two, three. I'm gonna go a couple of more rounds. I actually need to talk to Pam Greer just so she has her first dialogue, and then we can go about and get our cheat. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. All right, okay, we're gonna go one more round, and then I'm gonna pop my... I have a double points uh, Fate and Fortune on. Max ammo. It's actually perfect. Use the Kendall. Okay, what's this here? Please be cash. No, nope, gas grenades. I don't want gas grenades. Let's go get the second power switch on, and it is the pink flyer kicking about here. It's not there. That is for Pack-A-Punch, in case you don't know. It's three pieces you need. They're not too hard to spot. Is it on the chair? No, that means it is... 
somewhere. Where, where does that mean it is then? I actually can't remember. And it'll come back to me as we go through. Right, there's the second power switch. Right, that's two out of four. Lovely stuff. I think the last place for the pink flyer is actually outside of the place where Pack a Punch is. So I think we're chilling in that aspect, to tell you the truth. Frag grenades, I don't want that. I really just wouldn't prefer bags of cash. Right, I'm going to get my Fate and Fortune ready here. I think it's Payday, which is the one I want. Uh, so it's that one. And then we're going to wait for them to spawn in. For some reason, I feel like double points on this game is so much more rare than it is on any other zombies game. Comment down below what you think about that because I can't tell if I'm tripping or if I'm actually just spitting facts right now. Okay, I'm going to wait for them to spawn in a little bit. I know it's only round four. Four, but I feel like this would be a good use of this double points here because you know that this map can get a little bit pricey And uh, if you are wondering what chi I'm gonna be going for it's gonna be the dragon one Which is the red one in my opinion. It's the coolest one, but I don't know opinions can differ I guess um because you got four of them that you can choose from I'm only gonna do in the red one because you only have to do one Thank god. It's not four like origins god forbid uh, right. Okay, let's pop this payday and Right, let's just spray into them and go for the headshots because going for melee kills I feel is gonna be a little bit tedious actually to be fair we could probably get away with it here. Oh, God. Yeah, let's not try and get away with it. Let's just try and end the round, yeah? Oh, a nuke. Of course. Of course. Of course. Of course. Right. 3,400 points isn't too bad. I'm actually going to go grab uh, open atoms because we do just kind of need that. Oh, we got an extra 1k for that. Lovely. It's actually not bad at all. It's a decent use. Uh, Right. So we're going to go back down here, grab some open atoms. I don't know why they changed it from the M1 in this. Uh, it's a little bit weird. It's like, it's the, what, the Banshee and the Hornet, which is like a fully auto pistol and a uh, shotgun. I kind of would have preferred the M1. Maybe they realized it was too overpowered or... Oh, I'm just blind and I can't see it. All right, we'll head through this direction. And it's good to know there's a little rare Fate and Fortune refill station there. That's perfect. Right, we'll head through here too. And then we want to go down here. And now we need more points. I think I can see the pink flyer on the floor over there. I'm going to quickly check. Oh my god, that music is so loud. Uh, if the film reel is on the couch up here. Because this can spawn up here too. Uh, no, it is not. Okay. I always actually forget to grab up and happens when I'm playing this map. I don't know why. Because it's such a crucial perk. I think it's because I'm trying to save my points. Oh, God, I got, like, absolutely path-blocked by that zombie there. That wasn't fun. Okay, rinsed him of some points. Probably get some more here, actually, because we've got a little bit more ammo on the Kendall. And we might as well use the Hornet to get rid of some of the excess. I don't really fancy killing a bunch of zombies when I'm trying to do stuff. Okay, there we go. Another one that's just spawned in. I do not need you. Okay, we want to be over in this direction, which is towards the sewers. Wait, the pink flyer isn't here. What? Where is it, then? Eh, we'll find it. Whatever. Probably would be a good idea to grab some more Hornet ammo. I don't know if... That is the play, though. We could get, like, a cheap wall weapon. Uh, what is this? The Karma 45. You know what? We'll pick this up. We'll keep a hold of this, and then we'll swap it out once we get our Chi or something better, because I have the Fate and Fortune card that gives you a random double-packed weapon. Then again, that could be a rocket launcher, or it could be a really good AR, like the, um... Is it the XM4? Not the XM4. What? What is it called? You know what I want about. It was the one we used in, uh, Raven the Redwoods. The one that was bigging up the entire game. I can't remember its name. The NX4? Is it? I think it's the NX4. Right, we need 1,500 points here, and that's good, because we've got roller skaters. That'll do. Because there is a power switch on the roof, and then there's a power switch in the sewers, which we missed. Right, we want to go up to the VIP lounge. Flick this on. That is three out of four. There's the pink flyer. There we go. That's what I was looking for. Jesus fucking Christ. Oh, my God. Really? Ugh. I couldn't see a thing. Okay, whatever, 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 whatever. It's only one, it's only one. All right, we kind of just need to grind points again because I need up and atoms and I need jug. I need to get the thing on for the thing that unlocks jug. Oh, there's so much to do. Can this round just end though? It would be really nice. There we go. What is it with all the boss zombie rounds and exploding? It's so annoying, man. I have a feeling the film reel might be in the sewers, although I don't know. That is just a guess. It usually is every time I play. Infinite grenades, in what world would I need that? Seriously. All right, okay, I'm gonna grab up and atoms. There we go. All right, okay. Okay, that's much better. I just, I really don't like the way zombies hit you in this game. I don't like how jugs vaulted until, like, you've turned on all the power. I think that's stupid, to be fair with you. I'd understand if it was one main switch and it opened up all the power doors, but it doesn't. You've got to get all, all four of them on, and then it unlocks the sewer. It's just really annoying, man. I want to like this map so bad because it feels so fresh and new, but, like, there's just these little gripes that are starting to annoy me before I've even started the Easter egg. All right, I'm gonna, I need to be in the opposite direction. I don't even need to be on this roof. I need to be back towards the club because we need to go out the other side then get the power on down there. This little Karma 45 is actually not a bad gun at all, to tell you the truth. Uh, We want to be downstairs, don't we? I am a big dum-dum. So it's down here. And then it's towards the back, yeah, for, like, next to Pack-A-Punch. Yeah, there it is. Okay. All right, I want to go down the sewer first to get the power switch on. Not the sewer, the uh, the subway station. All right, get this on. There we go. Don't cross it again, because now it's electrified and the train's on. Giving me mower to Totten vibes. Although it probably nicked it from this, considering that that map's newer, but, you know. The film reel isn't there either. Uh, is the coin here? Yes, it is. 
So that means the film reel must be in here. In one of these somewhere. I can't remember which one it is. I think it's this one. Is it this one? No. It's one of them, right? But where is it? What? Okay, Mr. Ropper Waffles Guide's a bit flawed, I won't lie. Most trustworthy, like, place ever, known as Reddit, just told me that it's actually on the place where I'm actually trying to unlock, which is the... I think it's called, like, the, it's, it's, the, it's the pink cat, isn't it? Yeah, something like that. Yeah, the pink cat. It's in here, apparently, anyway. It can be. Uh, Yeah, there it is. There we go. Perfect. I want to be in here, and I also want to stick this on there, and that's pack a bunch open. Nice one. All right, now I'm going to end the round, and we're going to go get our chi. I also kind of want to wait here just for a little bit, because I want to grab Jug before I do anything else, because I'm sick of getting three hit down. It is not fun. It's only 2,500. We have 2k anyway. We should be able to get it nice and easy. All right, there we go. 2,500, and it's the opposite direction. We are running out of ammo as well. All right, tough enough. Give fire sale. Oh, perfect. I actually need a new gun, and there is a machine up here. There's one and the other one, so I'd be baffled if there wasn't any other. Uh, don't know what that is. The OSA? It's an AR, at least. Oh my god, please, no. I don't know what I just got, man. I had to run. The I just risked my life for a Spaz 12. Okay. Is there any good, though? Ah, it's alright. It's a cash bag down there as well. Might as well grab it. There we go. Just risk my life for 50 points. Right. Now that we have some guns, let's go get the cheese sorted. We can start the Easter egg from when we get at level 1, but I am going to be leveling it throughout the Easter egg, you know, of course. Because you ideally want it level 3 before you jump into the boss fight because it's one of the more useful things to have. Good weapons is definitely key as well. But, you know, it's just one of the cool things. Alright, there we go. Drink the red one. And I'm going to end the round before I do it. Because the first challenge, I think, is literally just to get melee kills. And I don't think we have enough zombies for that kind of thing. This shotgun is so Oh, fun to use, man. I feel a little bit embarrassed that we went down already, though. There's a cash pack. What we getting? A thousand. Oh, my God. All right. Okay, let's give this a go, then. Is it the same challenge every time? Because last time I played, it was melee kills. Yes, it is. Okay. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, tw uh, oh, missed, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. No, what the fuck, man? Oh, I'm actually so mad. Right. Realistically, it's not an issue. We can get... Open arms back, but it's going to be our last one already. That's embarrassing, actually. How did I go down there? I had, I had tough enough, no? What? Oh, whatever. I'm going through the uh, door here just so I can go get myself another box of tough enoughs because I want that if I'm not going to go down again. And clearly, it didn't work. I don't know what happened there. It's meant to give you five hits. I got two hit and I went down. Fucking whack-ass game. So I'm guessing it's next round now. Before we can use our thing, you've got to recharge it. You've got to go find the little bottle or whatever to recharge it. And I think they only come once around, which is a little bit annoying. But I just I don't understand how we went down. I really, really don't. Max ammo, quickly grab that. All right, there we go. All right, pick up the tiger gourd so we actually have a charge. I'm just going to wait for them to spawn in again. We literally just need it level one. This is ridiculous, man. Drink it. Hurry up. There we go. All right, there we go. We got it level one. And that's all I really wanted to do. So we're going to go another round, get another recharge bottle for it. And then we can start, which is, it's about time, honestly. Two downs later, bit ridiculous, but you know. This assault rifle isn't actually half bad, to tell you the truth, you know. Come on, where's this last one? There we go. I think just our liberty now, I'm going to use my pack and heat. Uh, what do we get? We got the pack a punch M1. I'm pretty sure it's still goaded. Hang on, is it? Yes, it is. Okay, right. We have our carry weapon. That'll do. Um, right. I need the bottle, and we also want to, like, start dwindling this round down. Is it in the same location? Oh, no, they're dotted around the map. Right, I'm going to start dwindling this round down, because ideally, you just want to save one zombie before you do this step, because it's a little bit finicky, and it's a little bit annoying, so... Carpenter? I've, I'm literally yet to see one this entire playthrough. All right, so to start it off, we actually need to go talk to Pam Greer first, because that's how you get them to spawn in, and are we heading the right way? Yes, we are. When I head through these alleyways, I just sometimes just get confused, because the map just looks so... So similar all the way throughout it. I don't understand, right? Start yapping to her. All right, there we go. There's our first one as well. And we don't have many zombies left at all, so we're chilling. Right, let's get them out of there. And we just need to follow them to the next one. And we've got to repeat this, what, I think like five times? Look at this little goofy guy, bro. Look at him running. All right, there we go. He's going to his next one. Get him out of there. And luckily, these aren't like specialist abilities in BO3. They don't like go down when you're not using them. They only go down per use, which is really, really nice. Like I said, I want to love this map so bad after like all the stuff I've played on it so far. But like, just these tiny little gripes, man. They're doing my head in. Uh, is there a cage around here? No. Where's he going? This guy is going far, bro. Oh, there we go. He's going to the next cage. Lob that. And he's away. We should have enough to do the rest of them, I think. Very glad we waited till the end of the round, though, before we did this. Right, he's headed through here. We actually need to open that door. And I think this might be the final one. I don't know, though. Might be one more after this, to be fair. It's a shame this guy's a sprint girl. Well, we don't assume here. <laughs> um... 
Yeah, it's a shame that there's a sprinter because like, I can't follow this rat properly. It's kind of doing my head in. Uh, all right, hopefully this is the last cage. If not, it'll be the second last one. No, it's second last. Okay, get him out of there. And of course, the zombies have decided to do that. That's really annoying. Even if there is one more, we've got enough, I think, for another one. So we're chilling, bro. This step's been a piece of cake. It's just tedious and long. Where is bro going? I've been walking for a good like two minutes now. Oh my god, there's another one? What? Oh wait, no, we're good. We just have to get kills in a circle now. There we go. All right, it doesn't even matter what we use. We can use the chi. We can also just use our M1. Like I just said, it doesn't matter. We just have to get kills in the circle. Right, that's step one pretty much done. Lovely stuff. Pretty late on in the rounds though, so I am a little bit worried, but we should get it done. If not, there's always next time. I like getting at least to the boss fight. If we fail the boss fight, then that's fair enough. But as long as we've done you know, the hard bit, I'm saying rebounded in the mode is completely fine by me. Ah, there we go. I think we've got enough kills. All right, let's go talk to Pam Greer. She's going to say uh, blah, 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 blah. And then there'll be a key standing where that yellow circle just was. You know, I like that they had celebrity characters in this. Don't get me wrong. But just the amount of back and forth with these Easter eggs is actually criminal, man. Whoa, I'm being zipped around. What is going on? Someone fucking with my game? What? And there we go. There's the key I've been looking for. Nice one. Right, now we need to head over to the second subway station. And there'll be a locker with, I think, some Chinese writing on it from what I remember. I do always have guides up next to me. But I like I'm just not using them because, you know... It's more fun to figure stuff out, but when I do remember stuff, I don't tend to look at them. Yeah, there we go. There's the lock I'm looking for. Open this up. And this means a whole bunch of nothing. Now we've got to go back to talk to Pam. Back and forth, back and forth. My god, I'm still tired, bro. Um, If you are watching this far, by the way, thank you very much. It does mean a lot. The channel right now, it's doing fine. Just things are low at the minute. So if you are watching all the way through, I really do appreciate you. And we recently, as of late, just hit 23,000 subscribers. So I do thank you guys for that as well. I'm just exhausted all the time, man. I've just got so much to do. All right, hello, Pam. I have done my thing. All right, because in theory now, if I shoot this... Yeah, gong. Lovely. That is exactly what I wanted to happen. For those of you who are just clueless as to what I'm doing, these steps really don't make sense, but we have to go shoot these little Chinese writing things. But some of them are like fakes, so I'm looking at the guide right now to see which ones are which. And the next one is in the club, so I'm going the complete opposite way to where I need to be. Probably should have kept a hold of my Kendall 44 to get like the pack a punch variant of it, but nah, it's fine. There we go, the bathroom stall, the second symbol. There we go. Another gong sound. Lovely stuff. All right, and then the last one is that one. Then that one. There we go. Lovely stuff. I'm going to grab my tiger gourd as well, just so we have one on strap, I guess. Because we do still need to level that thing up, so I'm going to start doing that once we actually end the round. Is it, I can't remember if there's any more steps we can get done, though. I think we're onto the Rat King ritual. Yeah, we are. It's on the floor. Lovely. Right, I think I might actually spawn him in, just because we have a certain Fate of Fortune card called Scratch Post, and he's going to be an absolute piece of cake, the thingy. Right, there we go. Here he is. Use our Fate and Fortune. Where's he at? Let me at him. Come on. Take your force field down. You know you want to. There you go. Couldn't resist it, could you? Oh! Surely the claw kills him, right? Now nah, there's no way it doesn't. I refuse. Is he dead? Is he dead? Yes, right, okay, cool. We've got ourselves the eyeball that we need. Now we've got to go scan about for these symbols. Oh, it's a roller skate round. That actually makes this a little bit easier. I think what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to drink this, and we're going to try and get this leveled up. How many more kills do we need? 22. Oh, my God. Look at this, man. This is so satisfying. Let's not die, though. It only kills one at a time. Got to remember that. Oh, and that is round, okay. Yeah, we've basically got to go about and scan for the symbols on the floor here for, like, you know, the one we just saw like that. I am definitely waiting to the end of the round for that, though, because there are way too many to be trying to do a step now. Yeah, sure, I'll love a cluster grenade. Why not? Oh, bro, the M1 with attachments is just a polar opposite of what it is without. I know that might be another one of them sentences where it just makes sense, but the fire rate you can pull off on this thing once you actually get um whatever barrel it is that makes the fire rate on it faster is just so good. I'm gonna grab another one of these chi bottles. Thank God all of these spawns are documented because without them, I think I'd be looking here, there, and everywhere, and this video would be hours long. All right, our first spawn location that we need to check is, in fact, in the dojo, and if we see it, it's getting shot. So, is it here? Nope. Is it in here? Nope. Okay, it's not there either. That's a shame. Is it here? Nope. But the next area to check is the roof, which is, I think you go... Which way do you go for the roof again? Oh, yeah, so oh, directly to the left. Oh, my God, this is such a step up from, like, Spaceland and Raven the Redwoods, man. I actually... I'm going to grab racing stripes while I'm here to speed everything up. We have so many points. I actually forgot about them. Oh, my God. We need to get this other AR pack a bunch ASAP. Uh, we might as well refresh our deck as well. Okay, there can be one here, I think. One more check on this one because it's a little bit annoying. Okay, it's definitely not there. Okay, is there one here? Quick. I don't see one. You have to crouch. Hang on, let's just double check. Okay, yeah, I don't see anything. So one here. Right, okay, I'm an idiot. I forgot to talk to Pam Greer. There's the next one. Okay, cool. There's our next one. I can't believe I, all I had to do was talk to Pam Greer, bro. What an annoying step. 
Okay, here's our next one. I think that's our third. We've got like three more to go. There's our next one. Let's not get stuck. There's our fifth, I'm pretty sure. Yep, there we go. Nice. And let's go find our last one. I think this is our last one anyway. And I think that's our last one. I hope so anyway. All right, now we've got to answer this phone. But the only problem is it's in Morse code, whatever I need to write down. So I'll be back when I've got it. Yeah, because I'm not doing that on the fly. <laughs> right, our code was 818. So in theory, it's this one, yeah? Yeah, let's go. Thank God I don't have to do that twice. Right, now we need to head to the roof of the disco area. So I'm going the wrong way. Uh, we need to go through the alleyway, then up through the disco itself. There's the spotlight there. That's what we need to stick on. There we go. And then that needs to get blown up with a grenade, which we can do. One, two, three, four. There we go. Wait, what? Was it blown or what? Is it blown? Hello? What? Hang on. Yo, imagine dying. Like, imagine doing that, bro. Like, bro, bro who, who, who would die? Who would do that, bro? Oh my god, that's a lot of them. Can they go away? Yeah, these guys are gonna keep spawning. Are they gone now? I hope they are. I actually can't believe that. We're out of up and atoms as well. That sucks, man. Okay. Don't know why, but I can smell just another run needing to be done here. But, you know. If it comes down to it, I'll do another one. But it'll be completely off camera until I get back up to the spot that we're up to. I think we might be okay, though. Big might. Big might. Okay, our letter begins with C. How many is that? There's a list of confirmed words. How many, how many letters begin with C? Okay, so we got that symbol there, which I believe corresponds to P. Don't know, though. If one of these is a Y, it's cryptid. So we've got this one here, which is, it looks like a little wine glass that's upside down. Oh, wait, hang on. Maybe there's more to this than I thought. Oh, okay. Maybe the starting letter doesn't necessarily determine the word. Okay, hang on. So we got that upside down wine glass. What else we got? That thing. Got this one, which I think is E. Okay, we'll try this. Yes, okay, I think it's ghetto. It's it. I think yeah, it's ghetto. Right, we need to find where E is. Uh, hang on now. I do believe that's actually E there. Let's see. Yeah, that's ghetto. Right, we need two T's now. That step mind boggled me for a little bit, but I've got the hang of it now. Right, T's, T's, T's. T's literally just look like T's. Okay, not there. If we look under here, it's that one. What? What? Okay, whatever. Right, R. All right, what I do believe we have here is Los Angeles. So we literally just need to spell that out. Okay, that shouldn't be too difficult. I can spell. Apparently, Los Angeles is the only no one want to start with L, but that might change today. I don't know. Um, all right, we've got S. We need to find A now, which is the two little swirls. Not that. It's not that window. It's the next one. It's not that either. Could be under the scaffold, and then again, it could just throw me a curveball and give me a different letter that's not in sequence, which is also totally plausible. Yes, it probably... Yes, it has. I think it has. Right, it definitely can't be that one, because that one's B. It's definitely not that one. That one's W. That one's U. It can't be that. Didn't get quite like, a decent look at the one on the scaffold. And, uh, that's T. I think that's literally just T, so it can't be that either. Does it have to be the one under the scaffold then? What is the one under the scaffold? Hang on, let me get a good look at this. Okay, apparently I can't spell what Oh, right, I'm gonna come back to when we do this. This is doing my head in. Okay, I need some prayers right now because I've been gr grinding out this step for ages now. We need S. What is S? S is a weird looking A. Is that a weird looking? That is a weird looking A. Yes! Finally! Christ alive! That took so long. Roller skates. There we go. Oh! We're probably gonna die before we get to the boss fight at this rate, man. That took way too long. Now we're onto the second mini boss fight. So what I'm gonna do actually is I might just actually no 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 no. We're not gonna get a, like a random double pack weapon. I think I might just go single pack this one. It's a really good gun. Bang bangs might also be a shot. I think I'm just gonna like uh, drink some of this and then just knife the barrier because you know that's how it be. There you go. That opens that. We can drop down here and we can also drop down to here. And let's head through here. Whack this in there. There you are. And that ended the round. That's fine. All right now I want to make sure I am pretty much fully kitted for this fight that's about to go on. I'm trying to think of any other perks that I could get. Double tap would definitely be a shout. I don't know what it's called in this. Is it Bang Bangs? Yeah, it's Bang Bangs. That is in the opposite train station, so I was in the right place before. I don't know why I shifted. Trailblazers? Nah. If I had to pick, just no. Uh, ammo clip? Don't really need that. Get Bang Bangs. Doubles my damage. Oh, wait, that didn't end the... Did it end the round? I can't tell. I actually really can't tell if that ended the round there. Do you get XP for pack a punching? You might do, to be fair. You also really need to level up our chi. Also, I don't know why I haven't been popping perk insured. I, I've, I've perked insured. Perk insured. I, I, I've really... I've had them for, like, so long now. I could have saved so many quick revives, man. Oh, my God. Yep, there's the second one there. Right, hang on. Let's get the scratch post one out, and we'll just spawn him in. There he is. Whip out the wild card. Wild card, whatever they're called. Fate and fortunes. Let's try and do as much damage to him. He's zipped off. Where's he gone? There he is. Ow, that hurt a little bit. Come on, Claw, do your thing. Come on, man. 
There we go. Is he dead? Yes. Nice one. Right. I need the brain. Thank you. Right. That ended the round. That's fine, though. I, should, I think we should be all right for this round because we've got to pack a bunch of gun and it does a lot of damage. But yeah, let's try and level up our chi then, shall we? We do kind of need to. That melee thing is going to get me killed, though. I need to be careful. And also, this only kills one at a time, so it might not be the best time to do it, but you know. Yeah, we ran out. It's fine. Oh, no, it's not fine. Let me go. There's a lot of zombies, man. I think Bang Bangs is definitely making this an absolute melting weapon. Right now, we really just need to get set up, like, properly. Um, Do I want to keep the M1? I really don't know. I've got no ammo in it. We might want to spin the box. Could also just whip out Fate and Fortune. Once we speak with Pam, the thing's going to, like, once we go three rounds, it's going to progress another three. So we're going to be on, like, scene, what, 24-ish? So, yeah, I really do want to be set up before then. That'd be nice. Honestly, what I might do, yeah, we're going to grab Mule Munchies so we can take three weapons in. Just because I don't think there's a Wonder Weapon on this map apart from the Cheese and they don't class as a uh, weapon slot. So having three weapons would be really nice. I'm not going to lie. Uh, we're going to need to go find the mystery box. I think it's on the roof of the club. I can't believe we're doing this no quick revive though. That is actually criminal. I barely ever use the box when I play Infinite Warfare. I don't know why. Right, there we go. Come on, something decent. I don't even know what decent is in Infinite Warfare, to tell you the truth. The trencher? Um, doesn't have a lot of ammo. Well, I guess we'll go again. Is this any good? Oh, that's a P90. Yeah, we're going to keep this. Let's go get this packed. Mark this in here. There we are. And then what I'm going to do is, do we have the Fate and Fortune card? Yeah, pack and heat. There we go. We'll get rid of this. And, oh, that is really lucky. That is a Melton AR. That, uh, what is it called again? The NX4? Yeah. This is the one we had on Raven the Redwood, so it's bound to be good, yeah? Right, let's go speak with Pam then. We're pretty much set up. We can use the three rounds that we've got to uh, level up our cheat to its max level, which shouldn't be too difficult as long as there's no more melee, because we'll just get overwhelmed. Right, there we go. Hello, Pam. Have a swig of this, and I'm going to lob my shuriken off these two. There we go. Right, I'm actually feeling somewhat confident, despite the fact we don't have quick revive. Yeah, you see that little burn mark? Yep, that that that's going to keep coming up until round, what, 21? Then it's going to skip me forward. Oh, Christ, they're roller zombies. I didn't even realize. I need to stay far away from these. These almost downed me the last time. Ah, shit, we missed. Oh my god, this SMG melts. Everything just, everything I'm using melts. Probably something to do with Bang Bangs, though. Right, there we go. And now we have ammo in our M1. Lovely stuff. It's blinking again. Good. I'm going to grab more Chi. There we go. We've got it leveled up. I don't know what the level of thing does. Oh, it's this thing. The uh, Gersh device. You know, the good thing about it. That's one of the best things. You hold them up, and then it literally acts like a Gersh device. We've got to get 50 kills with that, and then we unlock our specialty. Cool. Oh, I like that a lot. Oh, that makes everything a lot easier, man. Oh, my God. You've got to wait till next round to use it now, but that shouldn't be a problem. We have literally... So I'd argue some of the best guns in the game, and also on insta kill bro the game's just been way too nice i assure you it's going to be a lot meaner in the boss fight though if we get there that is the that is the uh question i think we're coming to the end of the round now which is beautiful and we got to go one more and then it'll skip that last yeah nice oh wait is it gonna skip now actually hang on appears not okay right we got one more to go this is fine this is fine we can work this out uh i'd love to grab some more cheese so we can start leveling that up again i feel like i'm gonna get myself killed doing it though but we'll try it anyway never mind we're good oh my god that is so nice there you go it's skipping that is so cool man uh am i missing something here where's that turnstile piece is there more zombies hello oh there you go there it is thank you right okay let's go whack this on the actual broken turnstile there we go that was important for whatever reason uh c4 i'll take that all right okay now that we have one zombie ish i want to go do the next step which is funnily enough climbing this ladder <laughs> yeah there's a little bit more to it than that but i'll show you what i mean in a second now if we come over here there's a little symbol we shoot that little symbol window closes privacy and now there's these rings again remember these from step one yeah got to do the exact same thing but they're gonna keep moving about we're not on any time limit or anything i don't think so it shouldn't be too difficult but things might get a little bit hectic so what what fate and fortune have we got not a lot that can help us actually perk insured is literally redundant because we don't have quick revive eh, a little refresh of the deck might be in order here in a sec at least oh wait it's rollerblades do these count towards it i actually don't know oh yeah, apparently they do grab some more chi we need to go find this next circle. There it is. Just gonna try and stay away from these because I don't have bomb stoppers. There we go. That one's gone. Bomb stoppers definitely could have been the play if I had like an explosive weapon, but I just didn't see the point because these things I don't think they spawn in the boss fight. So I think we're chilling. Where is this next circle? Ah, there's our next circle. My god, that took way too long. Come here. There we go, and that's round. Get a cheeky little reload on everything. Uh, shoot all of this ammo out. There we go. And there we go. All right, there's going to be so many zombies trying to swarm us here. So I'm just going to try to keep an eye on everything possible. I'm only one human though, so. All right, that's that ring done. Don't know where the next one's going to be. I wish it just told you, man. It's part of the fun though, innit? Yeah, fun in massive quotation marks, by the way. There's the next one. That is a lot of zombies coming my way. Move! No, 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 not like this. Not like this, not like this. Not before we get into the fight. No. I'd appreciate if my game didn't lag as well. 
Nuke, there's way too many of them. All right, suppose we can use the E power of the Chi here. Hang on, whip that out. Oh, that works like a charm. Oh my God, no, no, please. Oh, it's not good that we're getting... Oh, oh my God. I actually just got a jump scare. That was terrible. All right, hang on. I'm going to try to get one more little Chi power here just so I can actually get it to max. I don't know what the full ability of it is. All right, we've got it maxed out now. Way too many zombies for my liking though. M1 still seems to be the play. All right, I think we've got to do one more ring and then we're done. Yeah, there it is. It's here. Right, okay. This should be the last one, yeah? You'd want to hope because I don't think we've got much longer before I start getting overrun. Okay. And after this, it's hot potato. Then it's third uh, mini boss fight and then it's actual boss fight. Okay. Come on, please, 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 man. I don't think that was the last one. I didn't hear any gong. Right, this is our last circle here. Although, I don't know if I'm going to be able to stay long. Because that's a lot of them. I've had to turn my fan on, bro. It's gotten so hot in my room. No, 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 no. Fuck, man. Right, okay. We are back up to the step we were up, dude. This is, like, my fourth attempt at this now. So, I do want to say I'm going to throw in the towel. But I also don't. Because this has took up so much of my life now. That I kind of just want to get it done. Uh, We are up to the disco step. How many spawns have we got? We've got quite a few. Okay. All right. We have decent ammo in our E rod here. Yeah, I, I grabbed an E rod for whatever reason. Let's go try and get this step done then. The only issue I have with this step is the hitboxes of the zombies that kind of tend to slingshot you around. So it's a little bit finicky, but shouldn't be too bad. I feel a lot more confident now that I've actually got double pack a punch and stuff. I actually unlocked that. Yep, there's the zombie down there. All right. Oh, I really don't want to have to kill you. Nope. Thank Christ for reanimated, eh? And my other fate and fortune cards. God, as soon as I start rolling the cameras, my skill just slips. I think it's something to do with me having to talk over it. That I just start kind of winging it. I, I don't know how to describe it. My brain kind of goes on autopilot. But anyway, this is the second uh, open atoms that we've got here. So I'm not too worried at all. We can go down one more time and still be chilling. We've also got points of perks. So I'm really not worried. If we go down the boss fight, that's a different story. We should probably also refresh our deck before we go. But that's not really a priority right now. How many spawns have we got? That is the question. I think we've got a fair few left. Left. Yeah, look, look at this, man. But yeah, I definitely want to refresh my Fate and Fortune deck because I have a one that keeps all my perks that you just saw me use there, and it's very, very, very useful. Come on, jump on the dance floor. Come on. There we go. Didn't mean to kill her. Oh, I messed it up. Oh, this step is ungodly amounts of annoying. Right, okay, spawn another one in. Probably are going to have to go around and then just leave it here, if you know what I mean. I don't think this is going to be enough, but you can definitely try. See, this is what I mean, man. I've failed it again because of these zombie spawns. I don't get it. They just start barging you about you can't do a thing. Right, get on the floor. There we go. Another one. Another one. Another one. Another one. Oh my god, we've got to go round! Oh, you already know your boy did it mid-round. Oh my god, I had to pause the recording there just because I needed another kind of like lock in. I wasn't speaking anyway, so none of it would have been picked up, but oh my god, okay. Right, third racking fight. Uh, I actually don't know where that is. Some E-Rad ammo would be nice, although I don't know where the E-Rad actually is. We should probably actually swap this out for a Ripper. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. We'll grab the Ripper Evo. It's got a lot more ammo. And I've saw in the strategy guide, because yes, I have had a look at them now instead of just, you know, like I, I like I said the last time, winging it. It's one of the best ones to bring into the boss fight. Um, Right, we'll whack this in here. As you can see as well, I do have double pack a bunch sorted out. All right, there we go. Now we need 10k points, so we need another 7k, and then we can go fight. But to be fair, this thing already kind of melts, so I don't know. Although with the amount of spawns that we're getting here, I don't think 10 k is going to be that difficult. Okay, yeah, one more round and we should have that. All right, I'm going to pop perk insured, and I also want to pop the other one once we get our fate and fortune recharged. Because once we go boss fight, we don't have access to any perk machines. So, although we'd lose up at atoms, we'd retain our perks once... And then we'd be able to revive ourselves with re uh, Revival or re Resurrecting. I don't know what it's called. It's the one that picks you up. Then we'd have effectively two more shots at it, but one of them would have no perks. I hope that makes some form of sense of max ammo. Hang on. We try to utilize it here because you don't get very much ammo in these candles. And it's always good to have extra. Right, I am going to pick this up now. And we'll hop through here. And we'll whack this into the pack punch machine for the second time and get it double the damage. All right, lovely. All right, let's see how it does now. Oh my god, why didn't I have this thing sooner? All right, I'm, I'm kind of confused on what perk I want is my fifth slot. Uh, I'm torn between quickies and speed call. Uh, quickies and speed call? I'm not. I'm torn between uh, quickies and stamina up. I accidentally picked up bomb stoppers when I had the original Kendall. I kind of forgot that once you pack a punch them for two times, regardless whether or not you have bomb stoppers, they don't hurt you. So you'll have to excuse me on that front. I think I'm going to get quickies though, because I feel like it's going to be a little bit better. I can already run fast enough. All right, okay. 3k points. We're going to go buy quickies, which is on the opposite end here, so I can actually take the teleporter. Oh, yeah. I have been doing a lot more research into the map. And these are teleporters. I didn't even realize. You just got to break them with your chi. Speaking of chi, I haven't got it fully leveled, but you don't really need it. All you need is the shuriken. All right, I want to head up to the roof if I'm grabbing speed cooler or quickies. Uh, it's not this side. It's the opposite one. Can I quickly run past?
past him. Yes. That's what I mean with the rails, man. They just push you so far. All right, okay. Grab this, and that's all the perks we can grab. All right, so in theory now, if we head out the front, there should be another Rat King symbol, and from there, we can just absolutely laser beam him. Yeah, there it is. This is the third and final fight. Okay. Before the main boss fight, I mean. Come on, spawn in. Where's he gone? What the fuck? Oh, he's never done that before. Oh, get away from him. I don't like when he slams. Also, these Kung Fu zombies are my worst nightmare. I'd prefer to not do this mid-round 23, so I'm going to try to keep an eye on the zombie that's walking about. Oh, that's a new one. Oh my god, there's no way he soaked up all my ammo. I do still have my Kendalls, but they're going to be a pain in the ass to use because we've only got one zombie left. And I think he's a Kung Fu one, which is a little bit annoying. Uh, oh, he's done. He's done. He's done. Right. Okay. The heart, the heart, the heart. That's it. Give. Right. We're literally boss fight ready. Oh my God. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Right. The only issue is I don't have any ammo in my uh, ripper, but that can be easily solved because it's a wall weapon. We just need the points for it. Okay. Okay. I need to go to Pam, but I actually don't want to talk to her just yet because it will start the boss fight. I don't really fancy that. Um. Oh, this is the furthest I've ever been. Right. Earning points for the Kendalls is going to be a bit of a annoying but yeah it's fine oh i'm all giddy i'm all hyper i'm all everything please be a max ammo around you know what you want to be please 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 no okay yeah getting 4500 points with these things is gonna suck i really should have put on like a max ammo for in fortune actually we might as well use the chi ability here it'll save on some ammo uh can i run past him quick yep nice right and then i want to use the e ability which is like the gersh device thing all right okay we've got enough for the ripper uh i hate the fact that they can lunge at you from like nine mile an hour oh, nine mile an hour nine mile away I'm slurring on my words now because I'm like, I'm just so excited, bro. I've not been this far ever. By the way, if we do mess this up, I am just taking the liberty of uh, not redoing this entire Easter egg and just doing the boss fight in the uh, boss fight mode. Essentially the same thing. The only thing I'd have to do at the end of this video is make sure I do a disclaimer because I know there's going to be one guy in the comments being like, well, you didn't actually be it. I do not care. In my books, that counts as half a point. Shh. All right. All right. Okay. I think that's it. If we head down into the uh, sewers now, we should be good to go. I hope so anyway. I've done a lot of setting up for this, please. I think as soon as we end the hero will trigger. Yep, here we go. There he is. All right, okay. Let's just spam these a little bit. Um, fire a couple of clips of this into him. You know, bada bing, bada boom, kind of stuff like that. Uh, I am going to be talking absolute hogwash while I'm doing this boss fight because I am trying to ultra focus. You don't know how long it's been since I've actually seen this guy in the boss fight. I got up to there once, got a direct X error, and then ever since then, it's been fail at the last step on the disco step. It is so annoying. Um, I'm gonna pop my... Oh, well, actually, we've got a chi here. Okay, I'll take that. I'm gonna pop my fate and fortune in a sec, though, just so we actually do have another shot to getting up. And we've triggered it. Okay, cool. Right, um reanimated that is the one i want there we go right and i want to start the brain one because it is by far apparently the easiest so we'll start the brain first now if we head in the middle of here hold f we should start getting some purple zombies now these have to look at them for a certain amount of time but he's gonna do that so while he's mid attack what we've got to do is throw a shuriken off him so i'm gonna whip this out this isn't necessary but it does just speed things up come on show your face come on there we go that should prevent him from attacking for a little bit I say that as he comes back. That's annoying. He also spawned right in front of me there. That's not fair. I have read on the Steam Guide, though, you can just run around in circles and he can't really do anything. It just takes more time. Come on, we must be nearly there now. This is giving me, like, mad DE vibes with the whole counterclockwise running thing. Wait, are we running counterclockwise or are we just running clockwise? No, we're running clockwise. I'm just dumb. <laughs> Right, there we go. That's what I mean. You can just do nothing. Right, okay. I'm going to whip one of these out. Get rid of that horde. Grab this max ammo. And I'm going to put away my cheek. Move out his road because he does that slam thing and it's deadly. And now we can damage him a little bit. Oh, yeah. He spawns these in as well. That's where the Kendall's come into use. I hate them, though. They're so unbelievably annoying. See, now he has a shield and everything. This is annoying. Getting the ripper was definitely the play here, though. Okay, fire into him a little bit more. Come on. You know you want to die. Come on. I'm trying to think what other F and F cards I have. I have that big laser beam thing. The one that... It's like a death machine, but it's just a big laser gun. Come on. Surely. There we go. Right. Next, I think I'm going to do the eye, because it is the second easiest, apparently. Oh, I'm getting smacked all over the place, man. Get rid of these Kung Fu zombies. Is that all the Kung Fu zombies clear? Am I good? No, it's another one. Go away. Did they keep spawning, or is that last one? No, we're, no, we're good. We're good, I think. Is that a Kung Fu zombie? No, it's not. Right, yeah, we're going to do the eye step next. Let's get this started. I'm not actually quite sure what I'm meant to be doing here. I think it's just more of trial and error until you find a symbol, I guess. I'm actually so confused as to what I'm meant to be doing here. Are they on the roof? Oh, it's all of these up here. I'm just absolutely blind. Okay, right. Okay, 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 okay. That one, that one, that one. Don't want to do it again. That one, that one, that one, that one, that one. Right, we've really got to make these bullets count then. What else is this one? Oh, running out of ammo could really mess us up here. I can't lie. There we go. Are we done? Did we do that? Yes, right. Okay. 
Maximum ammunition. Thank you very much. Now, where's he at? Spawn in. You know you want to. Hello. All right, now he has that big lightning attack. That's what we need to kind of steer clear of. Ooh, so many zombies. I thought I was aiming for symbols that he had on. I thought it was the, the, the symbol I was aiming for was the one he keeps putting on his shield. Not ones around the room. I kind of had to look back at the guide for that. I feel like an idiot now. I wait for him to bring down his shield. Surely he's nearly gone down. I've nearly ran out of ammo in my thing already. Use a bit of the Kendall's then. Come on, go down, you fucker. Come on. There we go. Right, last one we need to get is the heart. Now, if I'm not mistaken, this is the hardest one. There's going to be splodges of green acid on the floor that we've got to get kills in, and we've got to get it quickly. Let's go. I'm going to wait for more zombies to spawn in action before we start this one off. All right, let's go. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Come over here. Oh, I'm taking a lot of damage. Get in here, man. Not the crawlers. Come on. Ah! Oh, my God. I'm, like, laser-focused. I'm locked in, bro. Come on! Come over here, man! Oh, has he spawned it back in? Oh, my God. There's just not enough zombies. Right, I I'm getting, like, the biggest horde note in the man before we do this. Come on. One. Over here. Over here. Over here. Two. Some more to spawn in. Come on. Three. Four. Get off the acid. Come over here. Five. It's not enough. It's gonna go again. Okay, we fully ran out of ammo. Uh, this step is taking the piss. It's really starting to get on my nerves. Um, my strategy here is gonna be... I'm gonna keep using the heart until we get fate and fortune like that. And then, I guess we'll swap this out and see what we get. The raging. It doesn't look too bad. I think I'm gonna wait for Willet to laugh again. Then we'll give this another go. How is it? Oh, wait. This thing is terrible, man. What was working well when I was off camera there, when I was trying to focus up, was my chi. Now, the shurikens seem to be working really well because they kill one at a time and I can fire them off really fast. This weapon does nothing, though. Oh, my God. All right, okay, I'm gonna down my chi now. All right, and then we're gonna use the shurikens to our advantage here, I guess. Right, stand. There's one. There we go. Another one. Another one. Another one. Get on here, you bitch. There we go. Get me off the acid. Come on. Oh, I'm out of ammo. No, don't kill me. Oh, my God. There's just two more. Two more. Two more. It's, he's gonna laugh, isn't he? He's gonna laugh. Oh, that's a shame. Yep, there we go. I was one off and he... Ah! Right, we know it's doable, though. We know it's doable. We know it's doable. I need to wait for my chi, and I need to stop pressing E to throw my primary grenade. My cold war has dicked me over with that. Right, give me my chi. Right, let me down my chi. Right, and are they all spawned in? Yes, they are. Right, let's give this one more go. Come on. Did we get one? No, we didn't. Oh, that's a bad start. That's an even worse start. I keep missing. Right, one, two, missed. Three, four, five, six... Oh, did he laugh again? What a twat. I've only just clocked his perks here. What? Right, he laughed again. I'm waiting for my chi to come back, man. Come on. <coughs> right, my chi's ready. I'm gonna grab it. I'm gonna wait for Willet to laugh it up. I'll tell you what, we'll actually start off by using the heart, right? So that's gonna get a couple of them, surely. Right, yep, there we go. Pop my chi. Probably should have done this beforehand, but you know. Right, and then shuriken, shuriken, shuriken. Come on, come on, stop walking. There we Be like this person, come on. No! No, man! Oh, wait, we're back up with ammo. Hang on, hang on. Why have we got ammo? Wh where's this came from? Oh, the heart grenade would have came in clutch there. Oh, it, it actually might be over here, you know. We've got no ammo. Where was that crate with up and atoms? There, give. Thank you. Grab my chi. Hopefully, this will be the last time. I'm going to try to get this last trick up my sleeve, which is also known as a Fortune Fort card. Fortune Fort card? Fortune Fortune card. And see if this helps out. I don't know how well it kills the zombies, but we'll, we're about to soon find out. Right, okay, dragon breath. All right, here we go. Give, 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 give. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. It's not killing them all too well, but it's better than having no ammo. Come on, man. Uh, yes! Yes! Oh, my God! Oh, my Christ! Let's not down now, yeah? Right, hang on, hang on, hang on. Use my chi here. Oh! I knew that was possible. I knew it. I knew it. Oh, we have ammo now as well. Oh, this guy's done for. All right, he's put a shield up. I think this is the last time we've got to attack him, right? Please tell me it is. Because there's no way we're getting him beat with this thing. Well, I highly doubt it anyway. We'll still definitely use it. I genuinely think now that we've beat all three of them, it's literally just a case of damaging them. Come on. Come on, man, please. Okay, right, we're down to this thing. Um. Oh, and that's brilliant. All the Kung Fu zombies have just spawned in. Brill, brill. Tell you what I might do, actually. Wait, wait, wait. This is a massive brain play. Turn that on. All the zombies get sucked up now, and I can focus on them. That lasts for ages as well. Oh, my God. Hang on. Right, how many more bullets are you going to take, my man? There we go. Did we do it? Did we do it? Yes! Oh, my God. Let's go. Oh, bro. I'm shaking. I'm shaking. Ah, bro, 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 bro. Oh, my God. Okay. All right, okay, on the, uh, what, what's next? Attack of the Radioactive Thing. Right, okay, the map I have the least amount of experience with, Attack of the Radioactive Thing. 
My god, did Shaolin Shuffle take long? And I have a feeling this one's going to take even longer. We have got a different set of Foyf Bait and Fortune cards because there's a lot of steps in this Easter egg where you've got to... Did I just bitch slap a zombie? Uh, can I just, like, back take on that? Sorry, I'll, I'll talk about what I was talking about in a minute. Let me just, like... Hang on, what? That is so cool. Lee Ross should be head of zombies, bro. Anyway, back to what I was saying. I've edited the Fate and Fortune deck just a little bit because there's steps in this Easter egg and there's a lot of them where you kind of just have to do something while someone's meant to be training a zombie and... You know, because I do everything solo, I don't have any friends that can train zombies. I'm going to grab up an atoms. And I'm going to head towards the power station first, just so we can get into colour. And we want to grab this little blueprint over here, and we want to whack this on here. We'll grab this piece, because it's the first piece for the seismic thing. You know, the thing we literally just placed down on the table. I don't know why I'm saying that as if you're stupid. Add that part. The next piece is on this bench here. There we go. I like how all the parts are, like, close to it, not just dotted around the map all willy-nilly. There we go. And the last part is next to the swing set if i'm not mistaken so that is is that when we open there or nah how do we get to the swing set i kind of forgot oh it's over here i'm just absolutely ridiculous i promise you i am working on getting rid of this ascension ugly ah uh, color we'll be back to full color in no time there's the last piece i'm looking for and this just gets whacked on here there we go and i will take the seismic wave generator right we're gonna hang on to that just for like a couple of rounds or so while i build up some points we get the whole map open you know how it is I'm going to grab myself a UDM because it's just an all-around great weapon to have. Especially for the earlier rounds, you can shoot them once in the chest and slap them. There we go. All right, how much is this next door? 1250 Right. That's fine by me. I have a couple of Fate and Fortune cards that could help us out with that. I also need to remember to hold on to the Kendall because it's one of the best weapons to have for this boss fight. And now that's round three. It's once in the chest, one in the leg, and there you go. Right, I am going to take the liberty as well of equipping Payday because I'm going to wait for them to spawn in, and then we're going to spawn in a double points. Okay, let's spawn this thing in now. That's quite a few of them. Try to go for the headshot multiplier. Usually I go for the melee, but I don't know if we can because there's so many of them in such a crowded area. And a nuke. There we go. That'll do. Get some bio spikes as well. Game's treating me nice today. Open this up. And there we go. We're back in colour. Looks like one of my YouTube thumbnails. Lovely stuff. What I'm going to do now is take the liberty of trying to get as many points as I can this round. And then what we're going to do is head away over to Elvira, get her spell book, get Pack a Punch unlocked, and then we can officially start the Easter egg. Go to the Fate and Fortune card here. We might as well actually, hang on, use Money Shot, because that is another good one for getting some points. See, look at that, man. You just get so many more. Is that an ammo clip? No, it's gas grenades. An ammo clip will be lovely right now. No, it's bio spikes on the ground. Brilliant. Oh, max ammo. Hang on. Reload quick. Ah, oh, we ran out anyway. Right, okay. And I think that is the last zombie that's around. No, there's one more in here. Okay, we'll get her killed. Cheeky little melee and we're off. All right, 5k points isn't too bad. We can probably get a decent chunk of the map open, but we want to start heading over to this direction because we want to head over to the beach and the only way through is through like all of these expensive R doors. So we might have to go another round. I don't know. Usually people start the Easter egg around scene 8. So, all right, get this open. And then we should be able to clear a shot towards Elvira here. Yes, we are. Now, that's the wrong door. There we are. Talk to her. All right, yap, 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 yap. I want to restart the Easter egg, so let's get this next door open. Uh, Where am I heading? I'm heading towards the beach because I need the power switch. So 12.50, and then we've got a clear shot of the beach, and I think there's another barrier there, but we can loop back around the long way. So we shouldn't have to buy the second one. Okay, let's get this zombie killed. We can probably get our third Fate and Fortune here. Uh, there we go, and what else can we use here? Reanimate, Hide and Seek, or Perk and Shoot. I don't really need any of them right now. All right, okay, we've got enough of the door now. Let's crack this wide open, and I'm wanting to head towards the beach to grab the power switch. And there should be a little piece that we need here. Well, I say little, it's absolutely massive. And how much is this door? 12.50. Okay, that's not bad. So yeah, I'm not really all too worried about the round right now. I think I need to memorize where that guy is. We need to remember that he died here, unless I'm reading that step wrong, because that's where one of the spawns are for the zombie that we've got to construct. Yeah, weird step. We're going to build a zombie. I'm going to keep using our Kendall ammo here, because we can drain so many points out of these guys. All right, I need 12.50. Come on. There we go. Right. Get this open. And if we head over here, there's our power switch. Lovely stuff. All right, let's go head back the long way and we should be able to flick on the power. Honestly, after an initial playthrough of the map, I haven't gone too in-depth with the Easter egg stuff. Ooh, double points. Hang on. Sorry, I was about to go into an explanation there, but I got sidetracked by the grind. Okay, are we good? Is that the last zombie? Yes, it is. As I was saying, though, yeah, after an initial playthrough of this map, it's actually not too difficult to learn. Literally got to do about round eight. And now I basically know the ins and outs, I'd say, anyway. Don't really know how to get the wonder weapon, but from what I've seen, people don't tend to use it for the Easter egg, so I'm not going to bother. This map is a bit of a hike, though, man. Like, people in the comments on the Easter egg guide videos watching were like, oh, the map's not that big, it's not too small. It's 
massive, man. It's huge. I feel like some of the areas could have been shortened just for the sake of, you know, making the map feel a little bit tighter, but I also understand why they made it bigger. It's just, it makes the player feel like they've got a massive playing field to walk around in. And it does feel cool, but when you're running around back and forth doing Easter egg steps, it gets on my nerves, man. It's one of my biggest pet peeves about map design. You gotta design the Easter egg for solo players, man. You can't just depend on co-op. Not everyone has friends, bro. Boycott Infinite Warfare, right? Anyway, regardless. Power. There we go. And with a little bit of luck, we should have the safe cracked wide open in here so we can grab Elvira book. Yep, lovely. B Tech Cronorium in my inventory right now, and we're wanting to head towards the fish market because she's going to give us a little vial that we've got to fill up with zombie souls. I am on it like a car bonnet today. All right, okay, 1500. That's fine. And here's the secret part. The radioactive thing is screaming at me. Now we've got to head all the way back over to Elvira to get her vial and then start filling up the souls. Doing this all by round five, by the way, is a new PB for me. So, uh, W Roman in the chats, please. This isn't live. What am I saying, bro? I'm, go I'm schizophrenic. Hang on. Right. We'll buy some ammo for the UDM. Might as well. We have up an atoms. No need to go and buy it again. Uh, I think my next purchase is definitely going to be Jug, though, because like I mentioned in Shaolin Shuffle, uh, infinite warfare hitboxes, man, with getting, like, smacked and stuff by the zombies just doesn't line up sometimes. It's not fair. Okay. Here we are, and if we give her a spell book, she should give us a vial. Bro, this looks like a juggernaut machine. You can't even tell me otherwise. Right, there we go. That's the vial I was looking for. She just keeps yapping, bro. Right, so if I kill one like this, it goes up a little bit. Okay. Right, ammo clip. I'll take that for my Kendall. Might as well. Right, once we've got pack a bunch open, we can officially start the Easter egg. Scene six isn't too bad. We're actually going to be starting on scene seven, I reckon, because this is a uh, dog round. Well, not a dog round. It's an alien round. I, I don't know what they're called, bro. I don't know the infinite warfare law. Who do you think I am? Oh, these things are creepy, man. They're like half human, half weird. And they have a shield as well. I hate that. I'm going to soak up all of my ammo for a max ammo, man. Ow, go away. There we go. Give me my max ammo. Lovely stuff. And hopefully this thing stays a one knife until, you know, we've filled up the vial because that will be a very big shame. But yeah, it definitely is. Okay. Ow, ow, ow. You see, this is what I mean. Hitboxes, man. They get a chance to, like, get a jab on you before you get a chance to get a jab on them on, like, Treyarch. Which is why I don't think I'm used to this at all. Insta-kill. I'll take that. All right, we're getting there. We're getting there. Just above halfway. Pick up cash. I'll take that. Cheeky little 500. Lovely stuff. All right, okay. Come on. Surely it's full by now, right? Hang on. Does it need to be fuller than full? No, I think it's at its maximum. Okay. We got a lot of points there as well because of melee bonus. This cleaver is sick, man. I think you get access at some point to a crowbar. We're going to be like Gordon Freeman, bro. All right, okay. Are you happy now? There you go. And there we go. Right. I need to escort her over towards the portal. Oh, she's going to kill the last zombie, man. No. Right, yeah, this this is the portal I kind of needed to come over to. Is she going to kill this zombie or what, man? Can you come over here, please? Activate Pack-A-Punch. Right, there we go. She's doing nothing. There you go. There's the Pack-A-Punch portal. Right, we're going to head through here, and I'm not going to pack my gun just yet, but we are going to hit this button before we go on the way out. Right, and grab the zombie head. There we go. And we're out of there. Nice. Uh, So now, what I want to do... Remember that seismic thing we made before? I want to head over to the beach because there's a little piece that we can grab over there, and the leg that we chopped off the guy. Remember when I was like, oh, we need to remember where we killed this green zombie. He should be there as well, I like to think. But yeah, we have the head now. That's one piece down. I think there's six of them. Uh, it doesn't look like it's here. Weird. Okay, um, we'll come back and get it at some other point. I'm sure it's because I've done something wrong or whatever. But for now, though, we are going to whack this little seismic thing just above the hand. And it should eventually raise it out the ground so we can pick it up. Right, can we pick it up now? Yeah, there we go. Max ammo as well. I'll take that. Right, a new round started now, but I'm going to try keep it on wave 8, mainly because it's like the wave to stay on. I see in most of the tutorials anyway. Uh, that's one of the whiteboards we need. I need to start taking photos of them at some point, but we'll do that later on. Oh, there's so much to do on this map, man. It's crazy. Juggernaut right now would be lovely, though. So I think we're going to go try find that. Right, hang on, hang on. There's one of them green zombies that we need. Is there any coming behind me? Nope. Right, we'll get this door open. We have 7k points. It's no skin off my back. Uh, I'm trying to think what's best to do now. We could do Elvira's tree, which takes like two seconds and a nice little grenade placement. Yeah, we'll get that done. Might as well. Oh, the mirror. I forgot we need to pick this up. There we go. Oh, ha actually, hang on. Can we just cook a C4? If I just like whack it on the tree? Oh, no, that doesn't work. Okay. Wait, can I have my frag grenades back? Are you serious? I've got to wait for another frag drop. Oh, my God. Oh, we got cluster grenades. That'll do. There we go. Did it drop? Did it drop? There it is. There's the leg. Right, I'm going to try keep it on this round for now because although we haven't got the other leg, there's probably a lot of other stuff we can get done here. Uh, first off, I want to grab Jug because we're starting to get up in the rounds and I might also hit the box because then again, we are also starting to get up in the rounds. I think Jug is there just as soon as you come out the supermarket, so it shouldn't be too hard to grab. Get this door open, that gets basically the main street open and there's Jug. Lovely. 
Right, on second thought, I actually think we're going to have to go another round. So, just because we need the points, I think I'm going to try and chill up round nine. Pick up cash. Lovely. Just as I say, I need points, you know? It's, it's like the game's listening to me, man. All right, we'll get this 2,000 door open. And there's another one there. Are you joking? Oh, my God, this map is expensive, man. Ah, I kind of forgot to hit the box. It's fine. It still seems to be killing them. Yeah, I'll take the Raven. We might as well. Oh, it's Burst Fire. I don't know if I like that. I kind of forgot it was Burst Fire. That's a little bit annoying. Right, we've got enough to open this door now regardless. Anyway, it's fine. Can you shut up, man? You're so loud. Right, and we got a green zombie here. Is he going to drop the leg? Where's my leg, bro? Pick up a battery. I'll take a battery. Don't know what I need that for, but sure. I think it is using the Easter egg, though, so it's good to hang on to. Uh, is there a one in here? Yes, there is. There we go. Right, what we can also do is it's grab the torso. I don't know why that leg's not dropping, though. That's really annoying. It's just weird as well. I don't understand why. Anyway, we'll ignore it for now, then we'll come back to it. Uh, I want to get the torso, so I need to head over towards the supermarket area. I think I've gone the complete wrong way, though. Oh, wait, no, we can go up this way. It's fine. There's the control box I'm looking for. Then we can take this over to the ice trap. Which I think is just in here, like uh, like actually in the market. Yeah, it's over towards here. If we whack this control box here, yep, there we go. And turn that on. It's going to freeze them pigs. And then once we've got that, we can smash one and grab the torso that's chilling in there. I really need to figure out this leg problem, though. Turns out that I'm blind. I found the leg. Nice. <laughs> It was just chilling on the road. It must have been when I first got it. Right, anyway, we don't actually need the cleaver anymore. We need the crowbar that's in here, but I accidentally ended the round. So we're going to have to clear these guys out, and then I'm going to grab it, because I don't want to risk it down here. I want to have as many open atoms as possible. That's a lot of them. Oh, my God, and I don't have a lot of firepower here. Oh, infinite ammo, points... See how fast of a trigger finger I've got. Maybe I can kill them with a Kendall. All right, there we go. I think that's all the zombies we can kill without ending the round. Yes, I think we're chilling. What is this? A battery? We already have a battery. I'm going to hang on to it just in case we actually do need it for the Easter egg, which I, th I think we do, but I'm not sure. Right, crowbar. Give. And let's head over back to the supermarket so we can smash the pig and grab the torso. And I think we've got all the pieces then. Really want to grab Racing Stripe sooner or later. I feel so slow without it, man. Right, so this should be smashable. Yes. Yeah, there we go. Right, torso. Give. Right, there should be a little mirror on the side of this that we can smash off. Yes, give. There we go. And the last one is in the RV park, so we'll head over towards that now. And you go smash a mirror to get the last bit of glass, and then we can go reanimate this zombie. Put them back together, so to speak. Oh, we're half an hour in already. I feel drained. <laughs> we haven't even started. Like, this is the easy part. It's just back and forth constantly. It's just kind of draining, man. Uh, right. Restroom. There should be a mirror in here that we can smash. Yes, there is. Lovely. Give me that shard. Right, there's one last thing we need. It's the punch card that's sitting next to Alvira's site kind of thing, like where she like where she sits, like here. But it's also kind of not. It's just a general area. I actually don't know where it's called. And this is where our hide and seek fate and fortune card is definitely going to come into play. We're going to be using a lot of these things, so we're going to have to start grinding points if we want to refresh our deck and stuff. I'm not the biggest fan of the fate and fortune system. I don't like how you have to charge it up. I don't like how you have to refresh your deck every like time you want to use a certain one. I think it's a little bit tedious, but you know what it is? It's gobblegums, but nerfed. So I respect it in a way, honestly. I have just completely skipped over where we're going because I've been yapping too much. Right, it's in here, I think. Right, uh... Yeah, there we go. Right. Right, we got two zombies. Is that one going to be a sprinter now? No. Okay. Got some cash on the floor? I'll take that. Right, okay. This is where I want to be. I want to shove the punch card in there. I want to put the zombie on here. Kill this sprinter because he's doing my head in and now you become a sprinter. Lovely. Can I shoot off your legs? No, I think that's really just damaging you. That's not good. Right, we're going to pop this hide and seek and we're going to try and get this first try. Right, pop this. Right, our first number's three. Okay, our second number is four. I just got that there. This is going to be very jump cutty, by the way, because I've got this guy chasing me. So I've got to kind of lock in, but I will try and record when I can. Oh, this is so annoying having this zombie chase me, man. Right, so our next number is six, so three, four, six, okay? We're getting there, we're getting there. I've also got to write this down just because we've got to punch it in in reverse once we actually make them into the zombies, so... It's always a good idea to write codes down, especially on this map, where it's like, because we're going to get a nuclear code in a minute. That doesn't come up when you need it. It comes up during the boss fight, but you're not allowed to open them. It, it's just really annoying. It comes up here on the uh, little white bar you can see uh, above Elvira's face. But you're not allowed to actually view it once you're in the boss fight, so we got to write that down too. Uh, right, okay, quickly, quickly, quickly. Right, that's four. The one after. Three, four, six. I have got it. It should be armed and ready. I need to place these mirrors down. Hang on. One needs to go here, and then one needs to go where? Like, right, and then the final bit of mirror goes here, yeah? There we go. Right, can we fire this thing now? Wait, there's no way it doesn't fire. There's no way. Have I got to do that again? Oh my god, I've got to input it again. Because 
position of the mirrors in place. No. Let's hang on. Four, five, seven, six. Oh my god, no, man. Oh, the crawler is doing my head in. It's literally one number away from inputting it. Jesus Christ. Our actual combo is four, five, seven, six, nine because it includes zero, I think. So hang on. Right, go, 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 go. Fast, fast, fast. Right. Four, five, seven, seven. Yep, there we go. Right there, 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 there. That's it, that's it. Surely it fires now, yeah? Why is the light still red? What? Bro, I'm so confused. I'm inputting this code right now. Okay, so last game, I do believe this step was glitched, but now I think we're good. Is this gonna, is it gonna fire? There we go, and now he's back to life, right? We've gotta get through this round, and then we've gotta input it backwards to turn him into a key. And then we're on to our next step. Yeah, because this is a completely different game. I do apologize, I had to restart. That step was just completely glitched, and we do, in fact, have the wonder weapon of the map now. We're gonna upgrade that a little bit later on, but for now, I'm gonna clear out this round, input the code backwards, grab the key, and then we'll open up the garage. I think that's the next bit. Oh, battery, we do need those. Probably a good time to show off what this wonder weapon can actually do. Think of it like a ray gun on steroids. I have also took the liberty of building the mind control device, so inputting the code backwards should be a piece of cake. So it'll be 83456. Might actually be able to get it done without slow them zombies are moving if they don't spawn in over here. Oh my god. I do apologize if I keep doing that. My throat just keeps kind of like hitching. I don't know how to describe it. Right. I'm gonna go see if our mind control device is ready again because that did help out massively the last time. I also need to refill my deck because I would love a hide and seek which is basically in plain sight. No, it's not back yet. It'll be available again soon. Well, when's available? When is that? Because it's been like two rounds now. It's actually taking the piss a little bit. So, eight, three, four, five, six. Eight, three, four, five, six. There we go. And then fire it. And we get a key. Thank God that step's done. Oh, two games in and we managed to get through, you know, about a third way through the Easter egg. We ignore it. We ignore it, though. All right, let's go get the garage unlocked. First, I'm going to grab some ammo for my E-Rad here. I'm definitely not going to be holding onto the E-Rad for the boss fight because it's got not a lot of ammo. But it'll do for now because it's only round nine. Trying to keep that round counter nice and low. I'm going to go open the garage. Speaking of garages and cars and stuff, I had a uh, driving lesson today. It actually went really well. Doing, like, left and right turns and stuff, you know. I guess you could say I'm a fully qualified driver. I'm not. I'm far from it. Learning, though, which is really nice. You know, a, a little random life update. I do, I do like, throwing these in when I'm uh, recording because it's, like, you know, waffling about whatever. Uh, do I want to refill my deck? Nah, it's not really worth it. Um... Right, we're about to go on possibly the biggest fetch quest in COD Zombies history because there's about, like, three different things in here that we need to grab. First, what we're going to do, though, is the nuclear bomb. Look at that, man. It looks so cool. Now would probably be a good time to try to get these doors open, but then again, there's another 2k door there, so... Oh, that's annoying. Never mind. Probably would have been a better idea to refill my deck, actually, with those points, but you know what it is. We move. I always forget there's another 2,000 door there. It's really, really annoying how expensive the doors are in this map, but it's fine. Right, our first piece is by Alvira, so it's on the complete opposite opposite side of the map. There's also a part under a red car that we can grab whilst we're heading over there because it's towards the middle. And then the last piece is at the beach, so we don't actually have to run back and forth between here because it's an easter egg piece that's not buildable, which is very, very nice. Oh, I'm feeling good about this run. I really am. I'm a little bit annoyed at myself that I got rid of my Kendalls, but we should be okay. It can't be that bad, right? Once we upgrade the Madden stuff, I'd imagine this thing becomes, like, amazing. Or well, at least I hope. It was kind of just like monkey see, monkey do. Saw the Wonder Weapon. I just wanted to pick it up so fast. Right, here's our first piece. There we go. And we need to go grab the second one now, which is over towards... If it's the center of the map, it's through Alvira's little TV studio. It should be just underneath this red car here. There we go. And the third and final piece is towards the beach, which which is fine. It's underneath the little bridge thing as if you were going back towards the other side of the map. I'll show you what I mean. Hang on two secs. It's like back here, there's a little bridge, right? And if you go under it, there's a part just chilling there. I think it should be right here somewhere. Yeah, there it is. Oh, can I crouch and grab it? Uh, hello? Give? What? Bro, can I grab this piece? Hello? There we go. That was a weird trigger to grab that there. Right, we'll head back over to the nuke, dump these, and then we gotta go build the chemical station, and then we're on to officially the worst step in COD Zombies Easter Egg history. That's the wrong way. Now, if you thought that zombie step was bad with, like, the rotating number thing, like, you're having to time it and type in the code backwards and stuff, you have not seen or heard of the chemical step, bro. It is ridiculous. What I might do as well, actually, I'm gonna jump through here, and I'm gonna hit this again. And where's this cupboard there? Smash that. Grab the alien fuses, because we're going to need double pack eventually, right? Right, okay, we're just coming back up to the garage now. We're going to dump these into the atomic bomb. I think that's everything on. Now, now we're going to build the chemical station. I'm going to add the part that we grabbed beforehand. And there's two more that we need to grab. Right, the little tubes are actually in the mini mart, which is over here. And it's in, like, the back room, which is, like, through here and then down here. Yep, there we go. There are the tubes. And then we need the other bit, which is all the way in the RV park, which we're going to have to run all the way around because I don't have the points to open the doors to get through the quicker way. If you want to do things cheap, you're going to have to be prepared to spend a 
lot more time. And that goes for anything in life. I feel like I'm getting like all philosophical. And here's our last piece for the chemistry station. Lovely. We'll go slap this together. Then we've actually got to go start the chemistry step. This is going to take a while. So strap in, grab some popcorn, grab a drink. You already know. Because like I said, this is probably one of the worst steps I've ever seen in an Easter egg anyway. Like this rivals like GK bomb step. How annoying it is. Well, GK bomb step on co-op isn't that bad. Like GK bomb step solo, bro. All right. Here's the last things we've got to build. Uh, add these on here. And we're ready to go. As you can see, we've got a little sum over here that's basically how you solve the equation and we've now got to go search for the circle number now there are four of these circle numbers that it could potentially be in four different locations we've got to find which one it is but before we do that we've got to figure out which ones are crossed off and to do that there's a whole other thing we've got to do with like changing the color of the set you'll see what i mean in a sec hang on right to start this off we need to actually head into the mini mart and grab a code that's chilling under the table this one right here it is 1729 okay right okay yeah there should be a valve chilling somewhere around here our code was what hang on 1729 so this one i've got to input one and next one i'm going to put it, uh seven next one i'm going to put two so on so forth here's the valve i'm looking for that's not on one right, we'll try to get it perfect did we get it i don't know i can't tell because the zombie just knocked me out of it I think that looks about right, honestly. Hang on. We'll do a little bit of loop in here. Yep, that's on one. Perfect. There's a one by speed caller, which we can go hit. That one needs to be on seven. And then the next two need to be two and nine. Then we can grab the nuke code, which is that thing I was talking about above Elvira's head, the little white box. Right, put this one on seven. So now, yep, there we go. Okay, we'll whack this one on two. I'm going to loop this zombie around, though, just so he doesn't bother us. Right, quickly, reset, 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 come on. There we go, that's on two, I'm pretty sure. And then the, ne the, next, the next one needs to be on nine. And that's all the way over by where Elvira is next to the pool. So we've got a little bit to run, and then this step should be done. I'm a port, and I didn't know it. Just coming up to it now, it's in this room up here, where we initially got the crowbar, and this one needs to be on nine, okay. Need to be fast about this one, come on. That's on nine, that should hopefully be the safe unlocked, I hope so anyway. Yeah! Yeah, there we go. Right, give. Right, our code is 35216. Let's write that down. Right, now that we got that code, we can officially start what is going to be the most frustrating thing known to man. So, remember when I was talking about these circle symbols and how they all look the same? We need to head over to Alvira's little room thingy, and she has a console where you can change the color of the film to red, green, or blue. Now, there's another couple of these little circles around. I think there's one on the wall over here just before we leave. Yep, there we go. You can see it there. We need to figure out which one we don't need to use, and there's also one where we got the alien fuses in the head remember and there's also one under the bridge as if you were going towards the beach so i'm going to change it to red and i'm going to see if that one's been crossed out if that one's been crossed out and then we just have to basically trial and error it until we get the one that we actually need right we'll change it to red and then there you go see we've got a little bit of a red tint going on now what do you know right we'll go check the beach first and then we'll work our way back through up the map and then we can check the one in the portal then we can check the other two that I just showed you. The one on the door, then the one inside the mini mart. With a bit of luck, it could actually be this one that's crossed off, but knowing my luck, it will definitely not be, so. <laughs> Gonna open this door up actually and see if it hopefully leads up back to the other side. Right, nope, it's not that one that's crossed out, so it could potentially be 15. I think there's another door before you get through here, though, which is unfortunate. No, there's not. Oh my god, that's so much quicker. Is this one crossed off? Right, so it's not 11. Right, so I've just wrote down there, it's not the door. Now we need to go change it to blue and then see which one's crossed off. Get that one, change it to green, and then the one that's left is our circle number. Right, okay, change the cinema color to green. I'm praying that it's the one under the bridge. If not, it could be the one on the fridge. Why do I keep rhyming my words, bro? Please just be this one so I can go back and say the blue. Please, 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 please. No, okay, it could potentially still be 15. All right, we'll do a big circle and we'll see if it's the one on the mini mart. And then if it's, the, it's that one, we change it to blue. It could either be the one on the bridge or the one on the fridge. Okay, it could still potentially be nine. Luckily for us, our pack-a-punch portal is just here. I think that means the one on the fridge has to be crossed off then. So it's either nine or 15, I'm pretty sure. So if we head through here and then click this button come back through uh yeah that's been crossed off so it's either 9 or 15 don't know why i have a hunch it'll be 15 but i'm probably gonna look like a massive mug as soon as i um, turn it blue and it's gonna be crossed off right okay last time we gotta change it change it to blue right is it this one that's been crossed off Yes, it is. Cool. Okay, so I think our circle number is nine, if I'm not mistaken. I'm going to go double check just to make sure. Because I don't really want to mess this step up. I want to try to get a first try, but that's probably not going to happen. And I've gone the wrong way. Right, okay, yeah, nice. Our circle number's nine. Perfect. Right, now there's a couple more numbers we need to grab, but we're nearly there. This is just for the setup. This is what I mean, bro. This step is so long. I'm also going to swap the color back as soon as we get up to Alvira's room. But first, we've got a little stop to make. We've got to go to the one that's just past her room to grab the triangle number. So yeah, that's the equation we've got to do. Circle times triangle equals I. So whatever number we get here, we've got to multiply. And that gives us our I number. So it's in here. So it's six. 
So that means it's circle number times by, tri uh, not triangle number, you know, yeah, circle number times by triangle number. So that's 9 times 6, that gives us 54. So our number is 54 for the eye, and now if we head over back towards Alvira, there should be a TV next to her. Yes, there is. Now, our number is 54, and what does that tell me I need? I need red, since it's greater than 53. So I need to swap this to full colour, and then swap it back to red. Right, change that to red, there we go. Right, this is where things start to get a little bit dicey, so I'm going to take the liberty of doing a massive jump cut here there's these little blackboards i'm going to show you one of them now just for reference around the map that i've got to take photos of yeah these right i've got to take photos of all of these so i'm going to do that and then i'm going to come back to when we're actually making the chemical right okay we are officially done kind of I still need to make the chemical, but I've took all the photos of the whiteboards that I've needed to take. So what we need to focus up on first, I think, is we need to make formaldehyde, which is racing fuel and quarters, which are both very close to the garage. Right, we'll grab the quarters. There we go. That's the first thing we need. Can we just whack this in here? I'm pretty sure we can. Yep, add item. There's the first one. And then I want to add racing fuel, which I actually don't know where that is. Apparently, it's on the right side, but I can't see it anywhere. It's on, like, the right side of the garage door. And there's a piece for our mad upgrade. I'll take that. Right, so if we whack racing fuel on here, and we want to combine these two, so if I refer back to them images that I took, why are there two zombies now? Right, and the number we need to be entering to mix these two should be nine, I think. So hang on, uh, like that, and then start reaction. That looked about right, I think. This is what I think it is, formaldehyde, lovely. Right, we'll whack that on there. Bro, I feel like Walter White right now. Right, there we go. That's wheel cleaner. I need window cleaner, not wheel cleaner. Oh my god. That could have been detrimental. Oh, right, it's here. There we go. Glass cleaner. That's what I wanted. Right, this should make our hexamine. It's not been too painful so far, so uh, add item onto there. Right, we need to do the math now, so... Right, so I think the number we need to enter here is 14. Oh god, no. How do I... Wait, wait how do I backspace? Wait, can I not backspace? No, wait, what? Oh, wait, no, no, no. I'm just gonna enter numbers, okay. One and four I need to enter. I don't know what happened there. Right, so one and... Four. And then let me start the reaction if I can't get you getting pushed away by that zombie. Right, start reaction. I think it made something. It looks like it did. Uh, hexamine. Perfect. That's exactly what I wanted. This is going pretty well so far. Right, hexamine. Yes, please. And to make the ultimate compound that we need, we need hexamine, vinegar, plant food, and detergent. So we'll whack the hexamine down on there. Now, because I'm a massive stupid idiot, I was making the wrong chemical because I was listening to the wrong voice line on the radio. So the one we actually need to make involves these three. So I need to do the math for these, which is... I think the number that needs to be typed in is 26. If I'm wrong, I'm going to be so upset. But if I'm right, I've got a massive brain. You know, basic addition, massive brain plays. All right, so 26. So two and then six. No, that was wrong and it almost killed me. Right, okay, we'll try 14 this time. Maybe I got it wrong. One and then four. I'm going to wait until this zombie's far and clear away, just in case we do get downed or close to down and it won't like you know no okay that hurts what am i doing wrong here man right thank christ there's the first thing i need right methyl benzene jesus that took its sweet time to grab right this is a key component for another thing we need to make it, this one's relatively easier i think it's that baking soda vinegar and detergent so we know where detergent is i think is this it here no it's baking soda we need that anyway though we need detergent which is this one here and then it's vinegar i don't know where vinegar is right detergent Virgin bacon soda, meth, all benzene, don't cancel me. Right, and then the last thing we need is literally chilling in the back room in here. It's on the table, just here. There we go, right, that's the last thing we need. Got to do some math, and then we've basically got the hardest compound to make, and then we've got one more thing to add, and then we've got the ultra one, then it's boss fight. So, what, this goes here? I'm just the best at chemistry, there's dinitro, right? We've got literally one more thing left to make, and then we've charged the atom bomb. So, it's dinitro plus racing fuel. So, we have dinitro, whack that on there, and then racing fuel is what, just here? Yep. That goes on there, and then it's a basic two equation. Right, I'm going to lead this zombie over for the final time, hopefully, and if we enter 10, it should give us the ultimate compound. Right, so one, zero. Lead him out of here so I don't die. Please, for the love of God. For the love of Christ, please. Oh, it's well, that was a good noise. Did it make it? That's the ultimate one. And does it go in? Right, I it just said hold F, but I don't know if that's the right one. Hang on, hang on. Oh, okay, moment of truth. Are we, are we done? Wait, hang on. Is, is that it? Oh, okay, we're up to the boss fight. Right, I'm gonna go turn this back to full color and we're gonna get set up. Oh my god, this is the furthest I've ever been. Right, we've got a max ammo around, but that is no match for my mad. We actually need to finish upgrading that, right? First full. Oh, no, I don't wanna change it to green. Come on. There we go. I can actually see. 
Right, let's go start double Pack-a-Punch, and we should also go and start getting the rest of our perks, which I want to grab Bang Bangs and Quickies. Quickies is just here, so we'll grab that first. There we are. Oh, there we go. There's our max ammo. Lovely stuff. Right, let's get Bang Bangs next. We'll get double Pack-a-Punch, and then we're pretty much good to go. That's quite scary to think about, actually. We're, we're coming to the end of this now. Got some cash on the floor. I'll take that. Nice little 500. Lovely. Infinite Grenades are literally the most pointless drop in all of Infinite Warfare. Right, let's run up here and grab Bang Bangs, and then I'm also going to grab the Ripper if it's about. I think it should be somewhere around here. All right, Bang Bangs. Give. What's this? That's the MacTab 45. That is not something I want. You know what it is? The Volk might actually... Yeah, we're going to take the Volk in. The Volk might actually be a shout here when it's pack a bunch and stuff. Right, we've got to double pack the Volk and then we've got to get the last upgrade for the Mad and then I am ready to boss fight, honestly. We've got the two Fate and Fortunes that I'd want ideally, so it's literally all about getting points now. Okay, we got the initial 5k. Let's get this done. Whack this in here. There we go. And now we need to sort out double pack and get 10k points. Luckily for the for the us, for us, it's a very easy thing to do. You literally just have to whack a part onto the power station, put the fuses down, charge them up with the trap, and then bring them back. I think Shaolin's was honestly harder than that. Right, here's the piece we need. This goes in here. And now we have access to that trap, but most importantly, we need to place these down here. Uh, is it here? It's somewhere around here. Is it here? I'll figure it out once I've cleared out most of the zombies. Uh, what am I doing wrong here, man? Oh, do you know what it is? I'm actually about to just go in the boss fight. Yeah, I, I, I can't be asked to mess about with that. I think it's glitched. It usually shakes the screen when you hover over it. Like, to where you need to place them down, it's just not letting me. I'm just gonna go boss fight. Worst comes to worst, we have to retry it. I'm gonna fill my mad up here with the little attachment. There we go. I was gonna go get the crank, but honestly, I really just wanna try this boss fight. Because like I said, worst comes to worst, I'll just get back up to this stage and try it again better equipped. But I, honestly, I think we'll be okay. It's only round 14, so the damage on the zombies isn't gonna be too high. The only main concern I have is just the things that he's gonna be shooting at me. You know, the cannons and stuff. But we can only try our best. Alright, okay, let's do this. Alright, here we go. There's the payload that we gotta escort. Alright, and it's on the move. This day, he's gonna start shooting so much stuff at me. I need to get under the bridge. Or just move out the way. You know, one of the two. A little peaceful push. Wait, is there's only one zombie spawning? No, there's a couple of them now. Okay. I did take the liberty of writing down the bomb code that we needed. Because as you can... Oh, wait, no, you can view it. I think it might be once you're in the belly, you can't view it. And that's when you kind of need it. So, okay, max ammo already. Lovely. Get under the bridge. He's shooting them things. Okay, yeah, the mad is probably going to be definitely carrying us through this. Oh, he's getting annoying. Oh, you can actually just run ahead of them as well. Okay, that works. Oh, he spawned a lot of them things in. Okay. All right, we're almost there. We've got to keep pushing. This is fine. We can just run a little circle around here. This is okay. This is okay. Okay, we're slowly but surely getting there. Summon Elvira? Sure. Come on, you're almost there. Right, is it, is it at its location? I think it is. Yep, it's aiming up. And then it gets shot at him and he scrams it. <laughs> Right, Max Ammo, I'm going to grab that now. Now is when we need to use them laser cannons. Now, when again, he's going to open up a spot on him that we need to shoot with these bigger lasers. There's one up there. There's one on the right. I right, see you an opportunity. Oh, wait, hang on. We can get mad ammo up here. That works. Right, come on. Show your thing. Come on. Oh, that's not what I had in mind. Come on, show a spot. Come on, please, please, please. Oh, I didn't actually realize that would insta-down me if I didn't move, but, you know, okay. The more you know, I guess. Uh, I'm going to need to grab some mad ammo. Give. Wait, can I not grab it? What? No way! Okay, we're efficient. Right, I have came. Right, okay, beast from beyond. And as you can see, I'm already way ahead of myself. Oh, don't jump at me like that. So, this is the map I know a thing or two about because I've played it quite a bit. Rounds one from three, we kind of just want to be sitting up here and using as little ammo as possible on these cryptids. We, we just want to, like, uh, maximize points. Just enough to get us over to Neil's head, i.e. the power switch. And there you go, just like that, round one's done. We're doing good for ammo, we're doing good for points. We're going to stop doing this about round three and then we'll go to maybe go to round four, depending on how many points we have but it should be enough to get us where we need to be to get the power on. And by the way, if you've made it this far into this video, you are an absolute legend. You've watched me struggle through all of these Easter eggs, fail a couple of them, win a couple of them. Just like life, you can't win them all. That's part of the reason why I don't stress over, like, actually beating them all. Because technically, you could say that, what, I've done Shaolin and I've done Raven the Redwoods? But, you know, honestly, this video has been a journey, and I'm happy that you've stuck around this long, and I'm happy that you haven't just clicked off because I'm not very good at the game. <laughs> right, okay. Uh, We should be good enough on ammo to, uh, like, stick around here for another round, I think, anyways. But, like, three clips left. I don't actually know how many spawn here, but we should be okay. Right, I think we're down to our last clip here, so I'm going to try and maximize it. You know, aiming for the head and that. Okay. We've got like a, like 17 bullets. Oh, that wasn't the last cryptid either. Okay. Um, we'll cop one of these. Sure. That should be the last one. And this is the direction we need to go. So let's just get moving. We'll also get this door open. I hate how fast these things are, man. Still 750. There we go. And this is the hole I'm looking for. There's still a couple of them. Wow, this pistol sucks. It actually blows chunks. Is that the last one? 
Because if he is, I'm more than happy to just keep him around. Right, aim towards this here. There we go. And we'll grab Neil's head. There we go. A little throwback to Spaceland. I like it. I like it. And let's go and chuck this into the main central computer. And from now, there should just be normal zombies spawning in. And what I remember, the central computer's on the right side here? Yeah, it is. There it is. Wait, hang on a minute. There's still cryptid spawning. What is this? What? Bro, I've been shafted. I've been lied to. Okay, from next round, it should be zombie spawns. We've got to take care of these guys for now, though. Oh, my God. You know what? I'm just going to do this. We're going to use this Fate and Fortune card and just take care of them like this. Can you just go away? Cheers. Can I have my normal zombies back, please? Come on, surely we're nearly done with this round, man. I actually despise the fact they brought back the cryptids, man. There we go. And we get a nice little max ammo to compensate as well. Thank you. There we go. We got our normal zombies back. Thank God for that. Thank God we don't have to deal with them little shits anymore. Saying that, there is a lot of them still spawning in. Right, okay, then we need to head through here. And welcome to the cargo room. Now, our box that we need is just up here. So we need to cook a grenade. Let's not die to it, though. There we go. There's our green skull. Shoot that down. Right, if we hold F on this little X here, we've got to stick in this little spot here. Now, for as long as this thing is rising up, we need to stay in this location. We need to kill the zombies that are coming towards us, which is a little bit scary, but to be fair, this revolver seems to be sorting them out in one hit, so I think I'm just going to hold on to this. Didn't seem to fare too well against the cryptids, but zombies is a completely different story. Okay, okay. Right, infinite ammo, that makes everything way easier. Oh, this is a little bit nerve-wracking. Oh! Right, there we go. We done. I think we're done. And there's our skull floating up there that we need to grab. So if we just do a little run and jump. Grab it. There we go. Lovely stuff. And there's the entangler. That's what we were trying to get in the first place. And now I think I want to try and focus up on getting my perks and stuff. So we need to find where Jug is, which I think is somewhere around here. I can never remember where, though. But I do just really want to kind of grab up an atom so we don't lose the progress that we've made, you know? That we're stupid down. <coughs> Okay, that's the first sneeze of the video, I think. I'm not too sure, actually. I can't remember. Maybe that's why I have such bad memory loss. My brain just comes out my nose and let's forget. Right, there we go. Open arms. Give me. Right, now that I've done that, I suppose we should probably focus on getting Pack-A-Punch unlocked since it is, like, prevalent to, you know, any Easter egg activity at all. So, to start it off, we need to head back to that main room we were just in. So, it's just through this corridor here. And then, from here, we're wanting to go towards the cargo room. This is the complete wrong way. We do need to go outside in a little bit, though, but not right now. We're wanting to be in here. There should be a big gun on the roof. Yes, so there is. We want to hit this button here, and then there it is. There you go. It shoots a massive hole into the wall. Well, it gets rid of the doors. It's not really that big. But now, this allows us to go get the first bridge piece for Pack-A-Punch. If we just jump through here. Oh, this is so cool, man. It's so surreal. You're actually in the theatre that, you know, you've been trying to get out of for how God knows how long. Get this open. And then here we are in the Afterlife Arcade. Isn't this weird? All right, let's get this round ended because we need some more points. But once we get out here, it should be the Shaolin Shuffle area. And then sitting on a car will just be like a little bit of metal that we need to pick up. This revolver is still kicking ass, man. Oh, my God. All right, let's get this door open. And then on here is the bridge piece we need. Lovely. And we're back. Oh, what the... What? How was that fair? What? In what universe was that remotely fair? I come through and there's just three of them sitting there. What? Whatever, man. That was honestly a load of bollocks. What was that about, man? Someone in the comments can tell me about that down below. I've never had that happen out of like the three runs. Excuse me. I've tried to this. Right, there's our second bridge piece. There we go. Yeah, where are these things coming from again? What? Do they just spawn with zombies now? Like, that's really annoying if they do. I can't lie. Yeah, like, what is this bullshit, man? Like, no, 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 no. Lovely little max ammo. And funnily enough, this is the room where our third bridge piece actually is. There it is. Lovely. That's three out of three. We're on a roll. Where are these things coming from, man? No, 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 no. Not like that. Let's go get uh, up and atoms again. That's our second one. Need to be careful now. Right, and that is round. It should be the dog round of the map. I'm not too sure if there actually is one. I mean, Willard's not said anything, so I'd imagine there isn't. Nah, there isn't. Okay. Right, I'm going to get a few more kills, and we've actually got enough now. I'm going to jump down here and grab Tufnoff. Ooh, there we go. Get this guy killed. Um, hello. Die, please. Thank you. Bro, why can they come from both angles, man? Just let me buy my perk. Holy. All that for Juggernaut. Oh, my God. Double points. That is always appreciated. If we can line our headshots up here, we can get some serious pointage. I say serious point, it's just that I've probably just killed the second last zombie. Yep, there we go. I think you're last, aren't you? Yeah. That's okay. We need to head outside now, anyway. Okay, I'll get this open. And welcome to the outside area. I am blind. There is so much white on my screen. There you go. Right, yep. And this is the bit where we needed the pieces for. Lovely. And 
There's our first floppy disk, there we go. Right, realistically now, I've kind of just got to go about the map and find out what symbols our floppy disks are on. I meant that the other way around, apparently I can't speak English today. I also need to figure out what order we need to put them in. And Neil, so I think on a piece of paper in the spawn room, there's a potential order. Yep, there's one here, and that is that. I'm going to take a photo of that real quick. Now the second one, we can actually grab, if we grab this thing here, and we take it all the way over towards that locked door and fire it off into there. It'll unlock and that'll be the second floppy disk we can grab. There's also another one we need with this gun that's like trapped behind a vent and then there's one we need to get from a boss zombie that spawns in once we head over to Pack-A-Punch. Yeah, this is the door I was on about here. There we go. That disables the force field and here's our next floppy disk. It is a plus looking kind of thing. Still gonna jot it down though. Right, we can go get our third one as well this round and then I want to wait a little bit before we head through to Pack-A-Punch. I just don't want to die to that thing. I don't know how strong it is. So I'm not taking my chances. Okay, right. We want head over to this direction and there should be a little vent yep and as you can see in there there's a floppy disk so if we pull out our entangler if we pick this thing up and fire it is it away did we do it no is it upstairs because apparently it can spawn up there too yeah there we go right okay what symbols on it it is a weird looking a right and like i said the last one comes from a boss zombie once we go into pack so i'm gonna wait a little bit what is this the proteus i don't even know what that is i'm looking for like a decent wall gun what is this the e-rod yeah sure we'll take the e-rod just until i can pack a bunch for the meantime and you know build some points with and stuff uh do we have yeah we have a payday here it's definitely gonna come in handy we'll use this now, I'm going to pretend I didn't just hear my character say, catch me outside, how about that? I'll give it the benefit of the doubt that it was 2016 when this game came out. But then again, it is absolutely criminal that my ears have even had to hear that in the year 2024. Okay, the Ripper Evo. This is a very good gun. I could actually pack a punch this. I'd be a lot happier if we did, to be fair. Got another spin on the fire seal here. It's a lot of zombies. I don't know what I just got. What are you? The Hornet? I don't want the Hornet. All right, let's get our asses over to pack a punch then, shall we? I quite like the way this map's laid out, you know. It's, it's, it's not too hard to learn. This is like my second game, third game in. Right, I'm definitely going to be packing the Ripper here, as I know from Shaolin, it was a very good gun to have in the boss fight, so might as well hang on to it, and we might as well pack a punch it. There we go, and I think there should be something that spawns in now. Yes, no. No? I thought I thought he spawns in after you got a pack a punch. Oh, I'm waiting for like, this big blue alien thing. Oh, there he is! Oh my god, I got jump scared. Oh, he's not hard to beat at all. What? He didn't drop the floppy disk, though? Am I just blind, or can I, is, did he actually just not... What? Bro, I've been scammed. Bro, there is all sorts coming to fight me. Are they Kung Fu zombies from Shaolin? What is going on? Bro, I actually hate them, bro. They should not be a thing. All right, there we go. All right, I guess for now, then, we'll just um, go get the other orders that they could possibly be in. To be fair with you, if we've got three out of four, we could possibly try to refer which ones a witch from that. I don't know if you can, though, because it's six symbols. I don't know if they go in order, but we'll see. We'll see. Oh, there's another one. Hang on. Oh, this one is jumpy. My God. Oh, get away. There. Did he actually drop it? No, yes, no. Yeah, he did. Okay, I see on the floor. Nice. You're not asking, you shall receive. Wait, no, what? Oh, I thought that black thing was it. What? Okay. Right, okay, with a little help from Reddit and a game restart, I've got my sequence. So, the one that we're holding now is number two. We'll go and chuck this in to Neil and see what he says. He's not going to say much because we've got to confirm the sequence, but you know. Just trying to make conversation with you here. Don't shout at me. Right, okay, like I said, this one goes in slot two. Right, we'll go get another one now. There's two out here which we can grab. Yeah, remember the one that wasn't dropping before? I had to literally restart my game and get back up to here now, man. The amount of times I've had to do this with this game has actually put me off trying to do any of these Easter eggs ever again, apart from in a video. What is this one? That's your triple triangle. I think that's our first one, which it is. Right, triple triangle, that goes in slot one. So this one is the weird looking A, and that goes in slot four. And then I'm pretty sure the last one's the one on the stairs. Like the one from the vent, I'll show you what I mean in case you forgot. Just after we've placed this one in though. Right, this one's going in slot four. There we are. And then this final one on the stairs over here is going in slot three. Thank you, Reddit, for these six possible combinations instead of me just going around the map and trying to find them all. Right, please. Yeah, nice one. We've fully restored Neil now. And now he's angry at us. Ugh. Right, now we've got to do something pretty cool, but I am so scared to walk through any door now because Neil's going to start shutting them. Right, we need to head back over to the theater to grab a little red button and then chuck it into this film which is some cool fourth wall breaking stuff i always like when games do this um we're wanting to go over here whip out the entangler and grab this little red button here there we go and there should be a beast from beyond poster over here that we can just chuck this into yep it's gone right nice and if we head back through here and we make our merry way over to the med bay which is just in here under this desk there should be the very same red button lovely and now we have one of
one of the more annoying steps to do, which is this. It's the little puzzle. Right, so we want to flick this one. We also want to flick these two, like that. We also want to flick them two, like that. And then these three. Oh my god, that step took so long. Right, he's temporarily hacked. Right, he's hacked, he's hacked, he's hacked, he's hacked. Right, okay, come on, Neil, out you come. Let's go. Me and you, buddy, we're going. It's a lot of zombies starting to spawn. Let's not drop them, though. Come on, it's fine. Okay, brilliant. Door's stuck. Oh, wait, no, it's open, it's open, it's open, it's open. Okay. Right, this is actually literally the last step before the boss fight. That's actually crazy. This has definitely been the most annoying Easter egg, but it's probably been one of the easiest in regards to how much you've got to do. All right, keep a hold of Neil, keep a hold of him, and then whack him in the computer. Yeah, there he is. Now that we've done that, literally all that's left to do now is end the round and try to get set up so we need perks we need certain guns and we definitely are not going in with the starting weapon and a reaper evo so we probably want to get something like a mauler or something like that i don't know we'll just see how our box look fares and then we'll go from there why are these little shits spawning in again right where is the mystery box i need some sort of different weapon here there it is magic wheel bless me up come on come on now give me that mauler you know you want to raging okay i don't remember this thing being too well from the last time we used it yep it's burst fire i don't really like it i don't like it the most amount of time i'm probably going to be spending on this map is literally setting up which is quite weird to think about like the easter egg took less than what 15 minutes realistically titan not bad very very slow though so i'm gonna get rid of it yes right it's literally just a spaz 12 bro right, one more try and then we're gonna go for perks then we'll come back to the magic wheel yep never mind we're doing it anyway fucking kung fu zombies bro i hated these things from shaolin i still hate them because of the shit like this no no bro how long am i gonna be red screened i was gonna say get me off this round man there we go right reload grab the max ammo we have a little point gun now with the reaper evo although i don't know why it started to fire really slow is it like an alt variant how do i turn this off yeah it beats me oh double point points this could be crazy it actually is insane to think we're boss fighting well we could be boss fighting by like round 15 this is like unheard of for infinite warfare right i'm gonna get bang bangs and then i'm gonna get quickies and then i don't know what else i might get blue bolts i don't know this shotgun is tearing through them man right i need to head over towards pack a punch because wait no i'm not heading towards pack a punch where am i going to get um quickies again oh yeah cargo room has the portal that takes you to the theater which is where quickies is yeah there's the portal i'm looking for quickly jump through here and yeah i knew it was in here well this gives me mad kino de totem vibes it actually almost looks identical to kino actually even with like the chandelier falling off the ceiling and stuff like what all right we got quickies now anyway i uh, see i'm torn between blue bolts and racing stripes now i'm not too sure what to grab i think racing stripes is down here no that's uh, that's trailblazers is that double points yes it is the nuke hang on trying not to waste this double points here there's a lot of them spawning in still got a few more but don't have double points anymore it's fine though um we need to find this mystery box it could be in spawn it could also be outside i think okay, it's not in spawn it's not up there either um where can this thing spawn man the only place i can think of now is outside let's go check outside bro it's not here what saying that we haven't actually checked inside the theater i didn't think there'd be locations there but i literally can't see anywhere else this thing could be we went the wrong way for cargo it's this way no way there's one in here right what's in here we're outside that is a location that's also where racing stripes is okay bro where am i going i'm back what about this end there's mule munchies oh there it is oh my god okay spartan mm, nah i'm good Widowmaker. isn't this just like the intervention pretty much yeah <laughs> the mauler that's what i was looking for there we go that's the kind of gun i was looking for lovely stuff right racing stripes is here so we'll also grab that oh my god the mauler is such a good gun man i think i might honestly hang on to this shotgun you know it's not even that bad like it's still one dome on them i know there's not any zombies in that fight but still pack a bunch this thing could be a beast from beyond <laughs> Lovely little max ammo there. Hang on, let me just reload. There we go. Yeah, why not? We'll have one more hit to see what we can get. Just, I think it's going to move after this, so this might be our last hit. But we got the Type 2. I'll take a Type 2. Yeah, this thing is beaming. I'm kind of glad we swapped that shotgun out. It's also just a lot better for points. Now that I think about it, actually, we should probably be focused on getting double pack as well. We don't really need to worry about it yet. We can get it done once we got, like, at the end of a round or something. We have nowhere near amount of points. How many are we going to need? So, 5k, 5k. That's 10k for both weapons upgraded first. We need 30,000 points. My god. Right, let's get the initial 10k. We'll get both these guns packed, and then we'll come back and get the other two 10ks. All right, I'm going to get overwhelmed. I need to head back through. Right, yeah, let's go get both our guns packed. We'll go get the fuses. We'll hang on to them, but there's nothing we can really do for now. Or well, can we get it done? No, we can probably get it done. All right, okay, chuck that in there. Grab that, and chuck this in here. Grab that, and get out of here. 
we punch this box. Yep, they're sitting there. Nice. Give. There we go. All right, now what we need to do is first end the round. And I'm going to head back through towards the theater because there's a little something we got to do. And it's a lot of back and forth, but it's usually worth it. So, <laughs> all right, we'll jump through here. All right, we'll clear out the majority of this round. Okay, all right, I think we're good. Yeah, we're good. All right, if I grab these, well, this, we need to head up to Pack-A-Punch now. This mini quest is actually really, really cool. So, like I said, we are heading towards Pack-A-Punch, so we got to go back through here. But luckily, there is a door in here that just leads straight outside towards our right here jump through to here and then we'll whack this little film reel onto here there we go and that's gonna start playing scenes from spaceland which i think is such a cool tie-in man what we've got to do is we've got to turn on the wormhole trap and then grab a brute's head using the little entangler here and then charge the fuses with the brute's laser like they used to bombard us in spaceland with very very cool quest i like this a lot overall this easter egg quest has not been too bad I i'd assume it'd be a lot worse if we were doing the meth run you know the whole mephistopheles boss fight but we're just not doing that because from what I've seen from gameplay and stuff, bro, I could not do that solo, regardless if I was the best zombies player in the world. That looks ridiculous. Right, we need to head back through here. Oh, I just knocked my mic. That's probably going to sound terrible. Right, and what we want to do is turn on this trap that is over here. Yep. And then grab the brute's head from out of here. Okay. It's very heavy, so it's going to block the majority of my sight here. And then we want to plonk it onto him just there. Uh, hello? Just there. What the fuck? Bro, go on. This is kind of cool. It's like the first physics object in Call of Duty Zombies, man. Wait, have I got to pick it up first? There we go. Right now, can I put it on your head? Yes. There we go. Oh, and he charges up the fuses. Brilliant. Right, I will be taking them. Before we leave, I am going to grab racing stripes. That's mule munchies. I think it's on the opposite side. Yeah, there it is. Lovely. Right, that's all of our perks. Now we just need the 20k points to fully upgrade both of our weapons. Then I'm pretty sure we are boss right ready. Might refresh my card deck. Then we'll leave. Well, I just, I don't know. What do we actually have on that could help us here? What do we have? Hide and seek and dragon breath can definitely help us out. That's like having a mini gun and being able to like mask ourselves. That's brilliant. Right, we'll definitely need to refresh our deck then. Right, let's head over to Pack a Punch, install the fuses, then we'll end the round and just keep grinding points. Right, install the alien fuses. There we go. And there we go. Brilliant. Come on, I don't want these little alien shits. Give me some zombies. There we go. Oh, we dropped some cash as well. Lovely. 500, I will take that. I kind of want to go back to the theater, you know. It was quite a decent training spot. Oh my god, is it, is it, is it a kung fu round? I think it is. Maybe not just yet. I kind of want to just stay in place. Is that a clown? What the? Bro, are they, just, are they all from different maps? That's quite cool. You've got the clowns, you got the aliens, you got the kung fu zombies. You know, all the annoyances. Oh my god, no. No, 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 no. Please. How did that even happen, man? There we go. That's that round done. Reload this. Can we reload this? Nope. Let's get this reloaded. Right, they are starting to get very, very fast now. Oh, there's a blue one. Oh, this thing is like a literal minigun, bro. It feels illegal to have this. Where was this any of my other runs? I guess I just wasn't using the box enough. Right, we're coming up at 10k. Lovely. There we go. Oh, double points. How did I nearly miss that? Right, there we go. 11k. That is really good, actually. Right, ammo clips on the ground. What's this? Bio spikes? Nah, I'm good. Right, I reckon we have enough by the end of this round, to tell you the truth. Need to remember to fill my card deck up as well. It's going to set us back an additional 3k, so we might have to go one more round. Right, 18k. Got a nuke there. Just speed things up. That's probably going to end the round. Yep, nice. Please be an ammo clip on the floor. Bio spikes. Cash? I'll take that. And luckily for us to fill up our Fate and Fortune deck, it's literally just to the left of us. Right, we have enough. I need to get out of here because we are also running very, very low on ammo. I really want to fill my deck up before I leave. Give. There we go. And we'll take this portal just for convenience because there is a door at the outside not too far away from it. I'm feeling good about this one, honestly. I feel like we've got two solid weapons, solid perks, solid cards. I'm feeling really good. All right, let's we go left of the pack a punch portal. Yeah. All right, whack this in here. There we go. And we'll also whack this in here. And we might as well start the boss fight. Let's just go. Right, we've got an ammo crate there. That's not going to be a worry. Right, the first phase is literally just defeating these massive brutes. Yep, these things, they are massive and scary and very, very annoying. They soak up so many bullets as well. See, look at that. Literally took an entire clip of this thing. But to be fair, bullets are not an issue. All right, we got this one next. Ow, 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 ow. I need to stay out of this thing's way. Oh, God, that's two of them. Heal, 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 heal. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, fuck. Oh, bro, it is not looking good already. Are you serious? I actually despise this game, bro. Oh, God. Okay, here we go. Second attempt at the boss fight. I'm doing it, you know, legit. Because I want, I want to end it off with a bang. Do you know what I mean? But if we fail it this time, I'm done. I'm actually done, bro. you got no idea. Right, Mr. Laser, come on. Come on, reload, reload. There we go. There we go. One more. Oh, run away, run away, run away, run away. All right, there we go. They're all dead. Whew. Okay, 
First phase done. I'm going to refill my ammo quick before the uh, little one starts spawning in. There we go. Little tip from Reddit. This gun absolutely melts anything it goes in front of. Maybe the Mauler really wasn't the player. That is a lot of them, man. My secondary as well. The Atlas tends to melt them as well. Not too sure about the blue rhinos yet, but we'll get to that problem when we come to it. All right, I've got my next fate and fortune as well. Lovely stuff. Grab some more ammo because we are burning through it. Right, and I think that should be that phase done. Yep, it is. Portals are off. I'm going to play reanimated here. All right, we've got the other half to take care of. And then once that's done, we're on to the step where the laser's firing at us. And then once we've done that, it's the 100 seconds. And then after that, it's two rhinos. And then we finish the boss fight. I'd really prefer to get it done this time, though. If you're picking up what I'm putting down here. Yep, this thing's going to start firing at me now. Okay, okay. This is where we need to start running. Because Neil's not a very happy bunny with us. Shit, shit, shit. I'm stuck on a wall. Right, I heard the rhino spawn in there. Consoles are on. Oh, that rhino being there is not good. Move. I'm going to try and start hitting these consoles here. All right, that's the second one. Then we got the third one. All right, there's one. Oh, oh my God. You're joking, man. Ah! <laughs> Can't be bothered, man. Right, look, this is like my third attempt at this. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to drop a like on it. And if you want to see more content like this, why don't you subscribe? I do apologize that we couldn't get this one done, but I am I really just want to throw in the towel, man. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. And thank you guys so much for watching this video, and there will be more videos coming soon.